sensational on Channel 7. Adelaide won the toss, uh, Fletcher toss for the Lions, his 100th game for the Brisbane Lions. Formerly St Kilda and Geelong, and Bickley won it and went to the left. Interesting, Neil talked about the high bounce, and we saw a free kick immediately there. Pittman against Clark. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? The uh, Pittman-Wren combination against Clark, who was in good form last week and has been a star ruckman. It's a terrific matchup. Modra went for it early. Hamble was OK. Voss got his hands on it. So did Buse and Lambert. Across to uh, Lynch. with his Tristan Lynch. Has a little bit of time now. Comes away. Jarman made a diving tackle. Couldn't bring him down. And Nakamanis has got it. It was fantastic last week in the heat of the battle early against the Western Bulldogs. In short to Ashcroft. Ashcroft back to Akamanis. Akamanis to centre wing. Bad kick. McLeod has been an absolute star this season. Gets it between centre wing and half back. Yes, McLeod for Adelaide. Lovely long kick too. Lands the ball close to right half forward. Punched away there by Dick Foss. And not able to do much with the footy there, Cook. And the umpire calls for a boundary throw-in right in front of the where the players enter the arena here at the Gabba. Big punch from behind by Jarman. Lambert, Voss, then Ackermanis. Ackermanis, his kick to left half forward, out in front of Keating. Arriving on the scene is Malloy. Oh, he just shrugged the tackle. Knocked that player right out of the contest. To Lepic. Lepic is very, very clever. Eventually gets his left foot to it. It bundles and bundles and eventually taken over by Connell. The first score of the game is a rush behind to Brisbane. Just checking some of the matchups. Robbo, McRae, McLeod, Ke Cave and Keating, Hart, Lepage, Jamison, Malloy. Some terrific one-on-one -on -one battles out there. Can't believe that. He's just kicked it straight in. And Malloy is marked about 40 metres out. And the greatest concern here for Jared Malloy will be the angle. He kicked it straight to him. Must have been meant for Ben Hart, surely. And it just slipped off the side of Rob Jamison's boot. Give him the benefit of the doubt. It's early in this game. Players testing them, each other out. As Malloy goes for goal, it is a long kick to the goal front. Voss, hand pass, chance for the first score. It's a goal, kicked by McRae. Great start for Brisbane. They've rushed to behind, but that was a terrific bit of play there by Michael Voss. And if you would probably criticise anything, maybe slightly poor defence by the Crows. Yes, this ball probably should have gone through for behind. Smart got high enough, he just didn't seem to be able to knock the ball, in fact he went for the mark, he really should have been trying to just push that ball through and a smart handball then by Vosch and that's what McRae does best that sneak kick around corners it's a trusty left foot that he has, kicked four goals last week and he doesn't really need too many kicks to do a lot of damage 1-1 one, one. the Lions off to a good start here yes McRae in goal kicking form of late Rashudo Looked a bit high, play on called. Lambert through the centre, shovels it out. Akamanis with pace, kicks the ball to half forward. McLeod there, rather Jamison. Off the ground by Hart, that's Sean Hart. Ben Hart slow, Lepic on him, but he gets a good kick away in the circumstances. Say good kick, good kick for distance. Straight to Clark, signs are good for the Lions early days. In short to Lambert, Lambert in short, this is not good from the Crows' point of view. All their players are in the group on the other side of the ground. And Fletcher, in his 100th game for the Lions, takes the mark. Back in good form, struggled mid-season. A bit like the club. Went out of the team for a while, which would have been unheard of in the last two years. And he's taken the mark. Not a big goal kicker, just four in 13 games going in. Really shouldn't miss this. 45 metres out directly in front. Hooked it, not good. And missed. Disappointed with that. So behind... But the Lions looking sharp. Crows bench there with Wren and Collins and Goodwin on the bench. Long kick, that's better. And away they come. Oh, Nigel Smart bounced the ball and then eventually the Lions knocked it towards the Adelaide Crows goal and it's Jarman to gather. A high kick out wide and it's all right. The marker's taken out there by Costa. Costa for the Crows, between wing and right half forward, will kick the ball to within scoring distance. The high flyer, Darrell White, couldn't quite hang on to it. The Lions defence under pressure, Lappin, now Hart, off the ground by Modra! Oh, what a goal! What a sensational goal! That 
is just absolute <laughs> magical stuff by Tony Modra. I'm sure, Tim, he would have just thrown his boot at it and hoped for the best. Look, we've seen it too many times this year for it to be a fluke, though. On many occasions, Tony Modra. On that occasion, though, given the distance and the angle, you'd have to say that it was fluky. But he really is one of those players that can kick the extraordinary goal when it needs to be kicked. And Alistair Lynch is really going to have his work cut out tonight. Well, that's a reply Adelaide needed. It might have been a touch fluky, but he does kick so many of them, Modra. Clark won it. Rashudo smothered by Lambert was good. It's going to be terrific in the midfield tonight. Voss looks sharp. Rashudo's onto him. What two great 22-year-olds we've got there. They've nearly played 100 games each of league footy, just 22 years of age. Voss has achieved so much, and Rashudo looks to be on the way. Sensational young player, Rashudo. Lost his way slightly, and back better than ever this season. Seems to be thriving under blight. Sean Hart. Connell couldn't quite. Rashudo. Gee, it's a hot ball in there. Tristan Lynch's quick kick to centre half forward. Sitting and waiting. Jamison kept his call. Good hands in the end to Ben Hart. Straight in the body. Not a good kick. He finds Daryl White. All cut off by Jarman. Beautifully. Jarman again. Little hands by Cook. Good. Rocks him again, Jarman. Dick Foss was terrific. This is going to be a good game of footy. Dick Foss, handball, good to Lappin. Lappin with some space at centre wing. Yes, and he assesses and then delivers towards the 50 metre line. Forward for the Lions. Not able to take it was Keating. Fletcher at the fall of the ball. Heath falls over at the critical stage. So, so does Caven. And Caven probably playing the percentages there. Takes the ball over in the finish. And the boundary umpire will throw it in. It's just inside the forward 50 for Brisbane. Malcolm Blight talked tonight about the importance of the ruck contest. Yeah, he was. We've had a good look at him, though, and, uh, you know, that David Pittman and Sean Wren have been terrific as a duo, so we'll start out with that plenty of mind tonight, and hopefully they can get on top of him. So that will be an interesting battle. Bruce has already mentioned two big boys for Adelaide in Wren on the bench at the moment, and Pittman doing the ruck work up against Clark. This is Keating, though, for... Brisbane, and he goes after it and gathers the ball, kicks awkwardly with the left foot to centre half forward, but the mark taken by McLeod. Away to Jarman, Jarman over his left shoulder, out wide, and a good mark running with the flight of the ball by Lepic. Really like the look of Justin Lepic. I think he's just uh, progressing every time he plays AFL football. Malloy gets it back to Akamanis, just a little sprint away, left foot snapshot for goal is offline and through for another behind to Brisbane. 1-3 plays a goal. They lead by three points to Brisbane and it's very early in what we have assessed as being a terrific game of footy here at the Gabba. The kick in has been taken by McLeod. McLeod goes on to Jamison. Jamison away, sells a dummy, comes from half back, a second bounce. Maybe running out of room, but not ideas. Finds Caven. Caven's been good this season. Thumping kick to set a half for Clark back. He's done it a couple of times already. Filling the role. Pushing wide to Lappin, as he so often does. Lynch there to help him. Bickley to try and put the pressure on. Now, Bickley just holds ground and forces Lappin to wait for a moment. Then to Lynch. Champion. Bickley's got him. He's holding the footy. Well, he would have been four weeks ago. Play on, Paul. Taken by Lynch. Lynch centering ball. A floating ball. Hard. Keating good. Not a bad attempt with Caven. Push on by McRae. McLeod, who has been quite brilliant this year. Kane Johnson, who's a really likely cult, in board to Jarman. Jarman caresses the footy to Bond, who holds his ground. Play on, call away and caught. Slewed off a good play there by the Lions in white. And now Lappin comes away through the centre and they charge forward. A oh, terrific player is Lappin, but that kick, he lets himself down a little. It's yeah. brilliant stuff, isn't it, Robert? Oh, yeah, it right. really is a battle at the moment between the half-back lines. Very, very quick and slick stuff. But uh, a couple of times, both sides have been inaccurate with their passes. Gee, did Ben Hart have a good old job at that? Jamison takes the hand pass, then kicks it out wide. In the direction there of Smart, he's going to be beset upon there by Akamanis and eventually Barty. Just in front of Peter Barty, the ball trundles over for a boundary throw-in. Right on set of wing. He's a flexible player, Nigel Smart. He's picking up Akamanis, who's obviously... A lot shorter than Nigel Smart. Boundary throw in. And up high was Pittman. What a leap. Now, is that a legal tip? Yes, I would have. Of course, Robert. Well, it's a free kick, so the umpire sees it as that. Kick towards full forward. Lepic with one hand. Couldn't control it. Jamison comes away with the footy. Runs through centre half back. Kicks the ball long towards centre half forward. Darrell White just floating brilliantly over the top. And has taken the mark to Fletcher. 
Now to Tristan Leach. Short kick by that player. Finds Lappin. In the centre. As Tim said, a real battle here between the half-back lines. Lynch to McRae, who kicked the opening goal of the match. Five last week in Melbourne. And uh, one so far tonight. Bit of a stuttering approach. Then torpedo punt and does get on. That's a super long kick. Wonderful mark by Malloy. Who's a little strong for Jamison in the one-on-ones. Great bit of work then by Lepage, Bruce. He led up the ground. It was a dummy lead. And he left a vacuum of space behind him. Just watch this. And that's exactly where the torpedo kick went to. And a smart mark by Malloy. And Malloy kicks the goal. So the Lions are making the running when you consider Michael's uh, goal was a, a kick off the ground from 30 metres on an angle. And the Lions have had five scoring shots to one. They've got a little grip on this early days. McRae really getting onto this barrel here and Jared Malloy just judging the ball better than Jamison who may have got it lost in the lights and Malloy already we've seen him lead up the ground and he's causing Jamison a few worries and he'll have his hands full tonight so the uh, umpire about to restart play back at the centre very good bounce not favouring one or the other Clark gets his right hand to it Take it away in the finish by Pickman. Kicks toward half forward. Very strong there at the footy was Stanfield. In a bit of trouble underneath there was Cook. He wasn't able to do much with the footy, so the umpire will call for another bounce. It's just inside Adelaide's attacking half by about 25 metres. Currently 15. Expected to go down to 12, but uh, just feels so much warmer coming up from Melbourne today. Rowan Soares, Mark Nash and Anton Lewis. You just couldn't get better conditions, I would have thought. Neil Curley's already told us about the, what it's like down there on the ground level. Ball at half forward. Chance for Brisbane again. McRae receiving from Lambert. McRae goes to the long bomb. It'll land inside with it. No, it won't. Jared Malloy just couldn't quite get back in time. As a matter of fact, it is over on the full. So the ball carried a little bit too far there for Malloy and the free kick to be taken in the right back pocket for the Crows by Jamison. Now he looked to try and have to go kick, back. kid the umpire maybe that he was kicking over the man on the mark to try and get it out here to this side of the ground where Barty had made good position but the umpire asking him to go back and do it all over again. We saw Matthew Kennedy one of the uh, bench warmers for Brisbane at the start of this match just a moment ago there he is there in picture We've got a terrific list. Brisbane now. The short kick taken by McLeod. He runs away from half-back and then kicks it nearly to the half-forward area. Oh, strong play there by Voss, but uh, he's knocked to the ground. Dick Voss now. Gets it away to Ashcroft. Lovely little hand pass. Keating. Back to Ashcroft. Then Ackermanis. Love to watch this guy break away. Went for the bounce. Didn't quite work. Oh, what a great leap there by Lippich. Couldn't take the mark. McLeod. Well tackled by Fletcher. Little kick by Lambert out wide. Watch him says to the beautiful little left foot kick to the front of the goals. Malloy and Jamison. Still Malloy, still Malloy. Malloy's left foot snap the goal is a gun off line. And that was a chance that went wadding for Brisbane. They had a real opportunity there when the ball was within 20 metres but not able to kick accurately was Jared Malloy. 2-4 plays a goal. Just his physical pre presence is a worry, isn't it? He's got pace and he's also got strength. One of his first moves is to actually uh, push off a defender with, with strength. That kick out wide, but Crows having real problems getting the ball away from uh, the kick-ins. Smart. May have to go back eventually if Jamison can't hold Malloy. Vardy, good distance. Rodman goes to ground. He's had a slow start, Rodman, after a very bad game last week, after a sensational half a dozen weeks or so. Lappin, after Dick Foss had won it. Champion, the dasher. Good kick to Keating. Lions should be four in front of the scoreboard. It's the only thing you'd say against them so far. Goes to uh, Malloy. Malloy at centre half forward. Good strong hands. Jamison with him. Caven on his wrong side. Wobbles a floating right foot kick out wide. Nobody there. Lappin's got it. This is where the Lions have had a whole heap of players throughout the night. Lappin steady. Comes into centre half forward. Good. No, misses his man. And Caven takes a strong mark. He's been good, Caven. Neil Curley spent a fair bit of time telling me that today about just what a season he's had at the back. The surprise packet in this team. Short chip to Cook. Tim Cook in the centre of the ground. The Cook from Central Districts. Lovely left foot kick. Straight towards goal. At the back. Just goes straight past Ashcroft. 
In a bit of trouble there was uh, Connell, but uh, Dick Foster defending grandly, helped out by Lynch. Lynch's hand pass is good for Fletcher. Fletcher's left foot kick along the line, chopped off here by Vardy. Vardy's little kick, White was good. Still Darrell White, hand pass out wide, Hart. Hart for Brisbane, kicks it back towards the wing. High leaper there was Keating, and the ball spills just in front of Peter Vardy. Frustratingly so. He was just about to gather it, but it just bundled away from him over for a uh, boundary throw-in. 16 plays, 6, and we've got eight and a half minutes left in this first quarter. Crows just struggling early. Vardy back to Johnson. Round the body, almost a half forward. Bond should have probably taken it. Goes to ground. Robran, Dick Foss has been on top. High tackle on Robran, not paid. And it's going to be a bounce. Girls, did you want to say something a moment ago down on the boundary line? Lions look a lot sharper at this stage. And we had the situation where the, the Crows came up yesterday and spent all day today doing nothing. And their minds got slack. And that's the way they're playing. Wren on the ground. Matthew Clark back to centre wing, oh, kept his eye on it there, McRae has been dashing early, McLeod misses Johnson, trouble here, Johnson's got to keep his cool, he does for a while, then off the ground, Tristan Lynch, Ben Hart gets back, hasn't quite got the handle on it yet, Lepich onto him, Hart's kick around the body, high and wide, Rusciuto underneath, takes the mark at centre wing, it's been so important, Rusciuto, for Adelaide this year, Brad Boyd's our man in the outer tonight, former Fitzroy captain and now with the Brisbane Lions Wren the target smart at the back, Ross strong on him with Stanfield, high tackle on Lambert gets a free kick, Brad what do you reckon so far as far as the Lions, are you happy with how they're going? Yeah extremely happy uh, Jared Malloy's just been sensational uh, up forward and uh, is running Jamison around and Akamanis has gotten loose on Harden, also interesting to note our half back line's playing very well and that's where Adelaide seem to be falling down so uh, at this stage very happy well, the birthday boy, Andrew Buse, tomorrow turns 33. He's got the football. Hand passes into the path of Lappin. Can he get past? Oh, very skillfully oh. done. Goes back to Buse. Looked as though he had half an hour to get rid of that football. Buse goes into the pocket. Goes past Malloy and Jamison. And over for a throw-in. Looks a little dewy down here where the big new stand probably keeps a lot of the sunlight away from the grass down here in front of us. We asked John Northey about uh, the value of last week's win and what they learned from it. At least they've shown themselves they can play four quarters of very, very good football. So from that, I'm sure we gain a great deal of confidence. Ahead. So some confidence coming out of that against the uh, Bulldogs. Buse has kicked the set of half forward. Good fly there by Hart. I think the closed defence have got to take those chances because uh, body to body, they're going to be beaten. The kick wide, White, Cook after him. White so skillful to Bew, stretched him, Jarman got in there with a the toe, taken by Cook who's done alright early, Robran hands beautiful to Jarman, now slow motion so far, should make it count, lace out to Modra, didn't get to him though, Modra there with Lynch, taking at Vardy, round the body, good kick towards goal, just across the face and going through for a behind. So the Crows 1-1, one, one, the Lions 2-4, my feeling Tim is that the Lions haven't made them enough of it no, yet. I mean, no. they've been right on top and there's not a lot in it. The Crows really haven't woken up yet, have they? No. And the Brisbane Lions almost had twice the number of possessions that Crows have had, so they've had their hands on the ball plenty of times and they just haven't made them pay on the scoreboard. Lambert, one of the leaders in that area with six possessions, three kicks and three hand passes. Champion gets the ball out towards half-back. Voss and Connell. The ball underneath Matt Connell now. And eventually, Fletcher somehow got it out. Terrific stuff by Hart, and that was bundled out to uh, Voss. Then Lambert to Ackermanis. He could get run down here by Bond, but he's pretty quick. You can see the little Jew, the ball not quite coming back to Ackermanis. Had a couple of bounces. Now Voss, short kick all right. And fortunately for Lepic, in front of uh, Ben Hart, had an opportunity for second grab at it, and pulled it in for a mark. 16 plays, seven. Five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. He has been quite entertaining. It's been pretty quick, that football up and down the ground. And it, at the moment, it is with Justin Lepich. Goal kickers for the Lions, Malloy and McRae. For Adelaide, Tony Modra. But this is Lepich. It's a long kick. It'll land right close to the line, eventually through for a behind to Brisbane. So they lead on the scoreboard 2-5 to 1-1. The margin is 10 points. 
Well, maybe a little fluky breeze there, Tim. Do you think that ball looked as though it may have been going left and then went right and missed the goalpost? Uh, looking at the flags, it's pretty still. The Brisbane Lions have been an inaccurate side over the last few weeks. Yes, 11-22 um, and 7-26 in a couple of games up here against Collingwood and Richmond, respectively. So their last two outings of the Gabba, they've uh, been wasteful and yet been able to win. Kick by Jarman, wanting Robin. And out of play, Dick Foss. Good effort so far. There's Matthew Robin. And uh, Bruce Nigel Smart has now gone to the forward line. He's been pick picked up by Darrell White. That should be a great contest. But obviously, Malcolm Blight already concerned about their lack of activity across half forward. Bickley under pressure to Connell. Connell had Jarman, decided not to handball. Kicks it up in the air. Vardy lapping at the back. Voss beautifully done to Lambert. That's very special. Then to White. White controls it and can kick it to Tristan Lynch. He's got a, a paddock now. Just spent it a little. Got a rough old bounce. Comes back. Has a lot of crows around him. He's got to think it. Not good. Stanfield, champion. That's also Mr. Mark Ashcroft. Taken by Connell. He's a bit slow motion. And off Ashcroft for out of play. So a few mistakes there by both teams. Some untidy football there. Some Lynch of the crowd here. Or Lappin on that occasion. Or Lynch just taking the wrong option. Boundary throw in on centre wing right down in front of the commentary area. Mark Bickley kicks it forward for Adelaide. And a good mark. Very good mark in the finish taken by Vardy. Vardy, very much a goal kicker for Adelaide, but he's too far out. He goes for the short pass, going to get chopped off. But a free kick has been kicked out. And it is against Alistair Lynch. And it looks as though it's going to go. There's Rowan Saws explaining to Alistair Lynch that he thought he actually grabbed hold of Tony Modra. Interfered with Tony Modra just before the ball arrived, Robbo. Modra got the break on him. He actually snuck around to Lynch's right side. Just got a yard break on him. Lynch just tried to grab him at the end to stop him from taking the lead. So Modra, who has kicked one, going for his second. Probably kicked this too, wouldn't he? Yes, he does. Good kick by the full forward. The leading goal kicker in the AFL so far. Two yeah. goals to Tony Modra, and it is the Lions by four points. Well, that's the problem. If you take the ball down and you don't kick goals, then you're always leaving the opposition in with a chance when they go forward, and that's exactly what the Crows have done. They've taken their chances on the few times that they've gone forward. They're only a couple of points down, yet they've been played all over by the Lions in the early part of this game. Two five two one. So the Crows in touch. Modra a couple of early goals. Wren just wins the tap. Connell pushes forward. Jarman onto it. Well done because he couldn't quite break Lappin, but he got his kick in. Views hard at it. Can't quite take it. Goes to ground. Champion under a little bit of pressure. Dick Foss out of play. And suddenly you feel a little bit of momentum turning. Yes, you do. And it's interesting the way that Malcolm Blight obviously instructs his players to play. He likes them to get the ball to their boot as quickly as they can. He's not concerned if they just kick punt kicks that don't come off the boot correctly. He just likes them to get the ball as far as they can down the field. Clark, good tackle on him. Rashudo's high ball. Play on call by the umpire. Hasn't covered 10 metres. Stanfield went through his fingers anyway. Rashudo, Lappin comes out with it. Runs away and does run a fairway. Beautiful handball to Voss. They've combined a couple of times tonight. Voss has kicked clever and good enough Akamanis. He has uh, turned on an exhibition in the first quarter to Fletcher in the centre square. Fletcher turns and he's got Tristan Lynch wide. Goes to him. Lynch then pops at the half forward. Wants Malloy in front of Jamison and makes it. Akamanis and Lappin, eight possessions each. Malloy goes for goal. Gives it a ride to the goal square. Big fly came from Keating. Lepage goal! Blight won't be happy with that. Poor defence, really. It was a soft goal in the end. Yep. In fact, they've had a couple of softies tonight. 3 5 2 1. They worked it down the field well, just buying themselves a bit of time and a bit of space. And Malloy leading out well, just kicking high to the top of the square here. The ball probably going a little bit deeper than what he wanted to. And Lepic knocking it down and then just getting an easy kick off the ground. And Hart would be pretty disappointed with his effort on that occasion. Yes, uh, Lepic, when he hit the ground after the marking contest, just got rid of Ben Hart. And he only needed half a metre. Usually hard strength too, isn't it, when the ball hits the ground. He's wonderful in the air, but he's also very quick and agile. 
Lions by 10 points, two and a half minutes left in the term. Clark up high, knocked it down, but to only to a contest of three or four players. Eventually hacked out of that centre, out towards the wing. Kicked off the ground here by McRae and McLeod. Well, that was pretty good footwork by McLeod in the finish. Just resurrected it. Connell kicked towards the middle of the ground. High leapers, White couldn't take it. Jarman, little hand pass, smart. Short kick. Very good gather there by Cook. Confronted by Fletcher. He in turn by Rusciuto. Rusciuto's kick across the half forward line. The ball spills at the back. Under pressure there was Dick Foss. Now Vardy, is that in the back by Daryl White? No, the umpire gives the boundary umpire the OK to throw it in about 35 to 40 metres around from the Adelaide goal, and that yeah. was a little nudge. Umpire probably didn't see it as forceful enough. Nigel Smart goes in. Left foot snap by Nigel Smart. Nearly paid off that move to the forward line. Not quite able to control the kick, and it goes through for a behind to Adelaide. So Adelaide, 2-2. The Lions are 3-5, the margin 9 points in favour of the home side. Champion. Hooks it wide, good kick. Got to Ashcroft at 50. It's a good result, isn't it? Uh, Ashcroft to centre wing. Measures it pretty well. The numbers are with the, with, uh, the Lions, but it's a crow's free kick. I think it gets Akamanis maybe for holding or pushing Bond. Shepherding. Shepherding, was it? Outside five, probably. So Bond at centre wing. Not a long kick, gets underneath it, gets it inside 50, just hoping for a crow's mark, not really a, a percentage kick. Champion goes towards the line. Johnson held his ground really well. Costas had a quiet start. His high ball back inside 50. The four Lions players, they could raffle it. And they did well by just setting up for Lynch, and he took the mark. It's been interesting tonight, Tim. There's been a few occasions where they've either been three Lions on their own around the footy, or three or four Crows. Just the positioning of the players. Been caught out a couple of times. Wren, good grab. Hamble inside, good to Connell. Connell at about 52 metres. Goes long to full forward. Modra very early and then misses it. Free kick against him. Is that one of the interesting ones? If he holds the mark, he probably pays it. It's been paid a mark, hasn't it? Yep, but I think the free kick's there. Lynch deserving. And he comes wide and looks for Akamanis. Bond makes the contest. Akamanis, fantastic. Wonderful opening quarter. That's a super mark. Well, he's had seven kicks and one hand pass, and that's his third mark. Goes short, looks for and finds Boss. Well, they've had 90 possessions to 66 so far in this game. Brisbane, they lead by nine points. Kicking inaccurately, three goals, five. Vardy just grabbing hold of his opponent there in Fletcher. He's not happy, but uh, umpire Rowan saw is indicating that that was an infringement against the Crows player. The free kick is for Fletcher. And you wonder whether that statistic will go to the credit there of Fletcher because the siren sounded before he could kick it away. And it is quarter time here at the Gabba. Friday night football on Channel 7. The Lions lead 3-5. The Crows are 2-2. And John Norby there on screen just checking his piece of paper. He would be pretty happy with what he's seen in this first quarter, although he has been, or he could be, disappointed with some of the finishing by some of his players. They've had plenty of the ball. They've won most of the man-on-man -man duels across half-back, and that's probably going to be one of the problems for the Crows tonight. They've got to find themselves a winning forward. Quarter time, the Lions leading by 9 points, 3-5-23 to the Crows, 2-2-14. Convert, convert this quarter because uh, wasted opportunities. Thanks, Brad. And also Neil Brad Boyd and Neil Curling. Sean Hart out of the centre to half forward. Keating kept his eye on it pretty well. Had half a chance in the end. McLeod and McRae. McLeod's handball missed the mark. Ashcroft breaks through. Good looking kick off the boot. It's a chance. It bounces through for goal. Wonderful start. He's kicked a few goals this year, Ashcroft. 14 goals. This is his 16th match. He's missed a reliable. I think he's played about 107 straight games for the club. And this was a telling goal. Well, he lined up on the wing against Matthew Connell and just swooping in on the ball there and getting an early goal for the Brisbane Lions. And that's exactly what John Norley would have hoped for after speaking to the players at quarter time. Far more direct in their approach on that occasion. Very good positive play by Marcus Ashcroft. He's been an excellent player for a long time now for Brisbane. The bounce... It's knocked away by Pittman. Smart is there for Adelaide. His hand pass was foiled. This is White, Daryl White. 
And he finds Boss. Boss is in the centre of the ground. Left foot kick by Boss. He's an absolute ripper, but not able to make the extra ground. There was Malloy. Jamison under pressure. Malloy just gets completely rid of Jamison. And away goes Akamanis. His kick into the pot is going to be marked by Lepic. So some terrific football at the start of the second term by Brisbane. And they look as though they mean business tonight. There's no doubt about that. And the Crows really don't look sharp at all at this stage of the game. Magnificent play then by Malloy. The body work just to get Jamison out of the way. And then the Shepherd again. And Ackerman is showing a clean pair of heels. He's been a worry. Bond's on him, but he just can't seem to be able to go with him at this early stage. So Lepic going for Brisbane's fifth goal. He kicks. And just off to the left. Through for Brisbane's sixth behind. They're 4 6 30. And they lead Adelaide 2-2-14. And it's been so far all Adelaide in the brief period of the second quarter. The kick in. Been dropped out there by Johnson. McRae gets a lovely little touch to the ball to his own advantage. Kicks to the front of the square. Ackermanis back under pressure. Now Lambert away to Hart. Hart spots Boss. And Boss will go in and kick a goal surely. Michael Boss doesn't miss from there. Good kick. Another goal to Brisbane. Champagne footy by the home side, the lead 5-6 to Adelaide, 2-2. Well, Malcolm Blood won't be happy with what he's seeing at the moment. His players just aren't putting enough pressure on the opposition. They're not working nearly hard enough, and you just wonder when they'll wake up, because if it's not soon, this game may have slipped out of their reach. Michael Voss on screen had plenty of the ball in the first quarter, started well again in the second quarter, and those on-ballers of the Lions getting too much of the ball. Great start to the second term. Voss looking sharp as uh, he was in his uh, Brownlow medal year. Keating building forward. This game's about to split open unless the Crows get one against the flow. Rusciuto, good win of the footy then. Kicks it wide and uh, just hoping Lappin overruns it. They've got the numbers now, the Crows. Bickley, the captain from centre wing. Poor kick to centre half forward. Robin just can't get a sniff. Dick Foss, good kick. Gets to Lappin. Somebody from the Crows is going to have to stand up in a hurry or else they're going to be out of this in a, a hurry. Tristan Lynch has been on his own so often tonight. Takes the mark at centre wing. He goes up to half forward. Keating a target. Lepic, big high fly. Lambert's in board handball. Hart stretches for it. McLeod tried to cut it off. Vardy did a good job. Uh, Jarman, who was the big kick getter for the Crows in the first quarter. Lappin off his chest. Pushing forward is Clark. Then Lappin forces towards uh, McRae. Taken by Costa. Costa back to Rusciuto. Had Jarman decided against it. Belts it beautifully to Modra. What wonderful vision. Plays on and kicks his third. Against the flow. Rusciuto a beauty. What a sensational kick forward. It really was a magnificent kick, wasn't it? Just carried that extra 10 metres and he drilled it. Good play there by Costa just to get the ball across to him. And then Rusciuto off one step, spotting Tony Modra. And that really was a magnificent bit of play. And to say they needed that was an understatement. They need to get the ball out of the centre bounce again get it going forward. Well, Adelaide did get that badly needed goal in answer to Brisbane's fifth goal, which was kicked by Michael Voss. And what's happening here? The umpire just may be asking the trainers to get off the ground. So just play held up momentarily. Pittman gets his first hand to it again. Kick forward for Adelaide towards centre half for a good mark, Stanfield. Stanfield has taken the mark about 45 metres out. So after the Lions got out to a 22 point advantage. Hasn't played it, Robert. He hasn't paid the mark. Well, I thought it was, maybe touched off the boot. So the bounce of the ball now, 45 metres from Adelaide's goal. They're a chance here to score. Rusciuto, run down by Hart, gets the hand pass back. Kick forward by Vardy. To the goal front, Robin goes in and gets the goal. Well done there by Matthew Robin, contesting the mark and then gathering the crumbs to get Adelaide's fourth goal, the margin, 10 points in favour of Brisbane. Well, all of a sudden, the light's gone on, hasn't it? The Crows seem to have woken up in the last couple of minutes. They've got their hand on the ball. Rashido's got his hand on the ball. And Pittman's also been very good out of the centre bounce. In fact, he's palmed the ball on three occasions in this quarter. And on two occasions, the Crows have cleared the ball the first time. 
The Bears got the or the Lions got the ball out of the centre square. Five six four two. Rashido important. And Pittman and uh, Jarman around the body. This game alive. Bickley off the ground. Abuse. Bickley onto him. Well done. Ball out wide. Taken by Costa. Voss runs him down. Costa's handball under pressure. Jarman's hip and shoulder was okay. Fletcher on the up. Good. Voss gone. Just gets rid of it. Kane Johnson. Suddenly some urgency in this match. Free kick crows. They're right back in. 5 6 4 2. The bean spark and Rashido may have been the man with the great kick to Modra and then the handball to Vardy. Here's Pittman in the uh, heart of the centre of the Gabba. Kicks the ball a fair distance, gets it inside centre half forward. Stanfield can't get into the make a contest. And Keating, whose height really worried Craig Ellis last week early, takes the mark. Pushes the ball off, gets to lap and always seems to have a ton of time. And then accelerates, runs a fair way, floats and not all that good looking kick to centre half forward. Jamison's got some time to make it count. Kicks the ball to Smart. Can't quite get a handle on it tonight, Smart. He's playing like a bloke that's missed the game and here's Buse. And Buse, no one to kick to, so he has to bounce and then kick with the left foot to half forward. Knocked forward there by Clark, but no one home for Brisbane. And fortunately, maybe for them. Adelaide not able to get back through Bond and gather the ball before it uh, bounces over for a throw-in. Clark in picture with uh, Pittman to contest this boundary throw-in. And talking footy on Monday night, what an interesting guest that uh, Bruce and Mike Sheehan and Lee Matthews have on on Monday night. John Elliott, the uh, big boss at Carlton. Barty kicks it forward for Adelaide. Up to the 50 metre line and knocked away by Dick Foss. He's doing a very good job. Dick Foss on Robren. Robren has had just one kick and one hand pass. The kick, well, fortunately for him, was a goal. One of the Crows' four goals so far in this match. 36 plays, 26, 14 and three quarter minutes left in the second quarter. Robin clever to Bickley, who rides the tackle and then kicks it very badly. Probably the drop punt was the kick there. Went for a torpedo under pressure. Not a good result. They do kick a lot of torpedoes, the Crows players, though, don't they? Malcolm Bight obviously instructing them to go for distance. Curls, your thoughts? The centre clearance has been interesting in the last couple. We've had uh, Voss took the first three away and then Jarman took the next two away. Yeah, it's certainly, uh, they're back in business, the Crows. Pittman. Brad Boyd's down uh, in the outer tonight, the, uh, the Lion. Brad, uh, your thoughts on what's happened so far in the second quarter? Yeah, the second quarter's been interesting. It sort of uh, started off Brisbane in front, but in the end, uh, Adelaide have really tightened up. And as Curl said, uh, Darren Jarman's got into the game. So, uh, you know, we just have to watch him. But, and as you were talking before about Danny Dickfoss, he's just been fantastic this year, and uh, no wonder. Well, down in front of us here, while the boys were talking, Neil Curley and Brad Boyd, not much happening with the footy. It's uh, very much in the same area for those 15 or 20 seconds. And eventually the boundary umpire will throw it in. 5-6-4-2. Brisbane lead by 10 points. Big cheers coming now from the Brisbane fans. Capacity crowd here at the Gabba. Kick forward by Connell. Close to the 50 metre line. Punched away in the area there of Hart. And Buse. Hart gets back. Gives the hand pass to Buse. Nowhere really to go. So he gives it away to Dick Boss. Look out Danny. Dodges beautifully. To Lappin. The creator. Nigel Lappin. To Daryl White. Daryl White the dasher. Lappin the shepherder. Jarman was the confronting player, but it's Daryl White going down the ground. He kicks the half forward, and that is terrific footy. Great teamwork by Brisbane. It's Michael Boss on the end of it. Boss's kick to the goal square. The Adelaide defence under pressure. McLeod quite content there to give away a behind to Brisbane by rushing it through. So a precarious situation for Adelaide, thwarted momentarily. A behind to Brisbane. They're 5-7 to 4-2. And Jamison to kick in. Finds his target out wide. In McLeod. 12 scoring shots to six. McLeod's kicked to Jarman, a good one. Jarman's been superb. Plays on. Usually delivers. And that's a good kick to Vardy. Good stretch by him. Nine possessions for Jarman. 12 make it. Nine Thanks, and Robert. three. Bruce Thanks, nine kicks and three hand passes. Vardy short to Smart. Now Smart too far out. He's about 80 metres. Modra hasn't gone or Stanfield. Smart decides to go to centre half forward, almost up to full forward. Big fly Modra had a bit of a grip. Cook tried to get through. Champion just nonchalantly and then gets into trouble, gets disorientated. They couldn't put a tackle on him. 
and Hart gets it away with a floating right foot kick wanting the boundary line and finds it now. Boundary throw in. And Bruce, just when they're having that kick into the forward line, the Adelaide Crows, not enough movement. Not one of the three taller marking players moved anywhere. Far too easy to guard them on those occasions. Was Richard Champion lucky not to be penalised? Didn't really get a tackle. That was the problem, I thought, right there. But Pittman to Bickley to Bond to Connell. And Connell now kicks the centre-half forward. Yeah, straightens up and kicks to within scoring distance. High flyers, but the crumbers are there for Brisbane. Hart, grabbed by the leg. Play on, Nigel Smart, Boss, nearly hacked it out of that congested area. Modra tried to do the same. Lynch, Modra does tap it out. Cook, little kick by Cook is good. Not paid, didn't go the required distance, obviously. Lander just kicks it off the ground. No, there is a free kick now, and it will go to Lander. So Brisbane in control of the footy. Lambert's kick is a bit of an awkward one. Probably meant to kick it wider, and off the side of his boot, it went to centre-half forward. That should be nearly a free kick. No, Jarman just doesn't mess around. He runs away with the footy. One bounce. Kicks towards the centre of the ground and mark is taken by Nigel Smart. 13 possessions to Darren Jarman. He's had a lot of the footy. Kick now by Smart. To within scoring distance for Adelaide. Modra and Lynch. The ball spills to the back. Bickley tries to knock it across in front there to Stanfield. Chopped off by Buse. Short kick by Buse finds Lappin. Lappin the creator. Outside the defensive 50. Kicks it long towards half forward. It's a brilliant kick. He spotted that player, Tristan Lynch, from 50 metres and found the target. Lynch is kicking towards full forward. Out in front took Mark Malloy. Jared Malloy, there's no one back in the goal square, so he kicks to a two-on-one. They must get this. Lepich, boss, up against Ben Hart, and it's Lepich, third in line, who's marked only 12 metres out and fairly well straight in front. Connell onto the bench for Brisbane. And it looks as though it might be Goodwin who's come onto the ground, is it? To the Crows, is not it? Oh, sorry, for Adelaide. Lepich now for goal for Brisbane. And he converts. He's kicked two. Two goals to Lepich, three goals to Modra for Adelaide. And Brisbane leads 6-7 to 4-2. The margin is 17 points. And they move the ball down the ground just magnificently. Lappin getting a long kick here to Lynch. And then Lynch finding the leading Malloy on the terrific play then. Malloy, good, strong player. And then Malloy getting it on quickly to a two-on-one. And those four young players will be around for a while. A good sign for the Lions. Plenty of support, as you'd imagine, for the home team here. They've kicked away again, the Lions. 6-7 to 4-2. Some great play there in the build-up. Pittman terrific in the centre square. Voss has been excellent. Vardy cuts it off. He's having a fair match. Kicks towards centre-half forward. Big fly by Dick Voss. He's got it. Free kick at least. Robin not in the contest. And Stanfield just can't get a, a touch. Dick Voss away. Keeps it low to McRae. One hand out. Good one on the ground. Under pressure. Kicks it out on the floor. It's not the way you want to start, is it? No, it's not. Bruce, I think they're really going to have to consider the way they're playing the Adelaide Crows across half-forward. I believe they've got to break up the Brisbane Lions backmen, get them as far away as they possibly can from each other, and just isolate them. Lambert's long kick, big fly by Malloy, Jamison belts away, Collins has come on the ground, so a couple of changes for the Crows. Good hands there by Cook, gets it across to Goodwin, Goodwin centering, Robin couldn't quite in trouble, gets a little handball out, that's okay, Collins goes to full forward, behind no Modra, Lynch in the front spot, good strong mark, comes wide to Voss, is having a huge match, yes, Michael Voss coming up for his 11th possession, but there have been quality possessions, and this one is no exception, it finds Ashcroft, he's got two players again, and a beautiful little left foot kick, just ducking and weaving up on the full forward line there, was Lawrence, and he goes short in turn and finds Hart, Lawrence running down to try and get it back again, but Jarman up to that situation, manning up, and the football is with Sean Hart. He's 50 metres from goal, so it'll take a big kick to score. Doesn't mind his chances, runs close to the man on the mark, and does kick long to the goal square. Rush through, I think it may have gone over. It has gone over for a behind to Brisbane. The exciting player, Jared Malloy, isn't he? Got a great lead. One day he'll take one of those marks. It'll be mark of the century. Now we saw that here, um, Tim, a couple of years ago with Sean Smith. It was a big one. 
14 scoring shots to six. Yeah, just uh, right on top, but just three goals. It's a handy lead. He took uh, three big attempts last week against the Bulldogs, Moore, didn't he? And didn't quite get any of them. There's Kennedy. Blood rule, is it? Somebody. Trainers and runners everywhere. Bradshaw was down there on the interchange with Kennedy. So is it Robram off? Robram's going off the ground. Some blood trickling down his arm. Coming back on the ground is uh, Stanfield. Who, after starting brilliantly this year, must be at the crossroads for the Crows in the way they've set their forward line up. Ben Hart comes wide. Good kick to Pittman. Found him outside 50 to Bond. Bond near the boundary line to centre wing. Big ball here because front spot Buse and Bickley played it well, Buse, and then uh, does it to the line. Been playing since 1982, Busey. It's a long time now in footy, 16 seasons. As Robbo said. Yeah, well done. Robbo said 33 tomorrow. Yes, good on him, Andrew Buse. Great little bloke, and he's been terrific value for Brisbane since coming up here from Geelong. Now, a free kick has been picked out. It's going to Brisbane. Ricciuto is away. But the free kick in the ruck contest paid to Clark. 6-8 to 4-2. Three-goal margin in favour of the Lions. Good kick by Clark. It's good distance. But well marked across half-back by Ben Hart for Adelaide. Goes quickly. But Malloy gets back. Still Malloy. Oh, gee, he gets through, doesn't he? Strong presence is enormous. And he kicks beautifully to Lippich. Great play by Jared Malloy. And you would think as the season has gone on, a couple of the ex-Fitzroy players that have fitted in here in Brisbane have just got better, perhaps from the knowledge of playing more games with their teammates. No doubt they're feeling a lot more comfortable now, Robbo. So the Ben Hart kick was ordering that of a shooter. Well, this is Lepic shooting for goal. And missing. I mean, he put the shooter under so much pressure. What I would be disappointed, though, if you and Malcolm Blood is just the way that Rashido attacked that ball after he missed it. He really didn't show a lot of urgency. And Roy's too big and strong for anybody out there at the moment. I mean, one out, he's going to beat everybody. Long kick by Jamison. McLeod runs away. Good play. Jarman, who feeds so brilliantly in these situations. A couple of bounces. He's already had 10 kicks. Three bounces. Then delivers on the left to Madra. Oh, well done, Lynch. Fantastic play. Champion underground handball was okay. Handball by Buse was good to Lynch. They're playing the percentages. Jarman could kick this if he goes for it. At 50 metres, goes long and hard, getting back over the lines and through from behind. 6 9 to 4 3. Just a, Brad, if you can hear me, just a quick comment on your old mate uh, Jared from. Uh, from Fitzroy and his influence here, Jared Malloy. Oh, he's been fantastic tonight and his presence, as everybody speaks about, is just enormous. He's just so strong, but he's also quick and it's really good to see him um, getting some success in a good side. Well, he's taken five marks and had eight kicks, one hand pass and kicked a goal. Brisbane get the ball clear of their full back line. It is with Nigel Lappin. 45 plays 27 and now a 50 metre penalty. Why do we sometimes see them plucked out of nowhere? And then in some games, you never see them at all. I can't answer that one, Robbo. Rowan Sawyers did signal that Stanfield held on to Lappin, but it didn't appear to be too much in that. Well, a 50-metre penalty brings Lappin up past the centre wing, between wing and a centre-half forward. Look out, you're gone, Clark Peaty. He's able to get the hand pass away, so an ineffective tackle. Dick Boss, now champion, trying to run him down was Collins. Out wide. Gee, that's a great leap by Malloy. And it's been paid. That long enough, surely. 45 plays, 27. Malloy's kick into the pocket. Over the players' heads in that area. And a boundary throw-in will take place. It's about 25 metres around from the Brisbane goal. Really, the difference at the moment is the fact that when the Lions go forward, they've got their one-on-one -on -one forwards that can take the ball. And when the Crows go forward, the Lions' defence is doing such a good job of covering the forwards. Boundary throw, and I'll get you in a minute, Curls. I know you want to say something. Quick kick by Goodwin. You've got a chance now, Neil. Yeah, well, the big difference, of course, is uh, Robin is struggling in centre-half forward, as in last week, and that's why the Crows are also struggling. Keating belts it back. Gee, Clark should have got a free kick. High tackle, not paid. Malloy, Voss. Malloy's almost intimidating the opposition, isn't he? They're just not getting near him when he's going for the footy. And Lappin's got it at 50 metres. Well, he's almost had midfield-type possessions in this first half. Malloy, too. A lot of the ball for a full forward. 
11 possessions and six marks. You've got the double worry with Robin is that Stanfield just can't touch it. No. Lappin, 52 metres out. Strong kick. Beautiful long kick. Just hooked it at the end. Through from behind. So the distance good. Well, that is the worry, isn't it? They know that when they do go for the Adelaide close, they'll be going to Modra. And what the Brisbane Lions defenders are doing is they're dropping off their man early and just guarding that space around Modra too. Smart gets it short. Robbo just pointing out Malloy, 21 years of age. And the equal biggest man, weight-wise, with Clark Keating and Dion Scott on the Brisbane list. Smart wanting Wren. Wren hasn't had uh, much influence. Jarman has single-handedly really kept them in. Robran, now a touch, so can get a few uh, touches of the footy before half-time. Maybe he can turn it around. He was so brilliant early. Or in the season, kicks to centre half forward. Modra, big fly, good effort. Well, he took more of that than Malloy did at the other end. I mean, if you're going to pay one, I agree. Rashido misses it. Modra again normally kicks these, doesn't this time. It's a behind. Three one to Modra. So four four to six ten. So here's Modra. I mean, that's uh, about twice as good as Jared did at the other end of the ground. So there's Tony Modra in picture. 46 plays, 28. The margin, exactly three goals. Kicked in by Daryl White, straight down the ground. Marking contest, punched away by Wren. Sets it up for Jarman. Watch this one go through. Darren Jarman all the way. Goal to Adelaide. First goal of the game to one of the, probably the most skillful player in the competition. I think it's been acknowledged by many, many people that Darren Jarman, 17 possessions, is one of uh, probably the most skillful player in the competition. On the run, there's no doubt about it. You'd love to have the ball in his hands, kicking for goal. But he's matched up against Michael Voss. My, Michael Voss has had 12 possessions. Jarman's have 17. But I just think Jarman's been a bit more damaging in the way he's got his ball. Good knock then to both Wren. Well, a goal from Darren Jarman just gives the Crows that uh, little sniff. It's about all they need. They're not really out of the game. And... Uh, Brisbane have had plenty of chances, 16 scoring shots to nine. The bounce and uh, nobody can really break away. It's a really tight tussle. And the percentages are with Brisbane. They get the ball to half forward. Bond and Ben Hart combined. Ben Hart belts it hard. Good kick under pressure. Collins and Champion. Important for Collins that he keeps it in Champion. Sort of threw it out in the end. The handball in ball by Fletcher to Keating. Keating slung off it. High kick. OK. Good strong mark taken by Lawrence. Is a real favourite here. Not a good kick. Costa's got it. So a waste there for the Lions. And again, I reckon John Morby's going to go in half time with the same problems he had at quarter time. Poor option then by Lawrence. We've done so much and we're not too far in front. Now Smart's in trouble. He gets away and then belts a high ball back. And a white good mark. Front spot. Then gives a little show off there. That's <laughs> terrific. Put it up in the air. Why not? Those kicks are made for him. Then Buse. Buse kicks the ball to centre wing. Malloy with him was Costa. Bouncing ball taken by Lynch. That's Tristan. Voss clever. Look away. Malloy, that's what I mean. He just runs straight through them. He's like Jonah Lomu. Kicks the ball to full forward. Hart caught out of position. Belted away by the pros. Good effort. Taken by McRae. Back to Hart. Should go. And does put it through. Put it down to Malloy at the centre wing. He just ran over the top like Jonah Lomu did in a semi-final of the World Cup against England a few years ago in South Africa. Just taking them on here. Just watch this. Four. Cook probably should have tried to tackle the hips, but he's a power... House Jared Malloy and a good feed off then to Hart who just steadied himself on that trusty left foot of his and Malloy really has been a star up for tonight. Well he's had 12 possessions Tim, 6 marks and 1 goal so far. Wren tries to get a big fist to him. Only as far there as Buse, his hand pass in the direction of Hart. Chance here for Cook, nearly run down by Lawrence, got the handball to Wren. Wider still, Bond in a bit of strife, and Fletcher just lets him get away with the kick. And eventually, it has been taken by Collins in front of Daryl White. Collins for Adelaide, he can go to Wren. Short, he does. Wren plays on. 
has a bit of a look and then delivers towards set a half forward getting back and reading it is a Nigel Lappin and he's playing some sort of a game as well just sets it up kick probably not as good as what he would have liked Akamanis grabbed around the neck and then went to the boundary line now that is deliberate isn't it is that disguised at all well that was close to deliberate but I was just thinking about that bit of play then by Nigel Lappin fantastic work he dropped off his man very early just guarded that space in front of Tony Modra and took a courageous mark with the pack converging upon him 35 metres from Adelaide's goal Lappin again and plays the percentages by nudging it about 20 metres closer to his goal away from the defending goal and over for a throw in 7-10 plays 5-4 two and a half minutes left in the first half and it is Brisbane with the ascendancy at this stage but uh, with all the play that they've had Adelaide still not out of it kick towards the goal line and it's been touched right on, on the line there by Alistair Lynch and it came from Jamison so it does register a score for Adelaide they're fifth behind they are 5-5 trailing the Lions who are 7-10 margin 17 points as Lynch kicks it back for Brisbane and kicks it long to centre wing Clark Keating Wren uh, gives the free kick away Voss to Lappin Lappin getting big possessions through the centre oh kicks to Lawrence Lawrence at centre half forward goes in short to Voss got him and the Lions may get their just desserts now before half time they're starting to build the lead again 14 possessions so far for Voss 17 for Jarman Lawrence just a little chip pass and the Voss should kick the goal Lappin 18 possessions Akamanis 12 Lambert 12 and as uh, Tim said Malloy 12 and Lepic has got eight so some big possession getters for the Lions in the opening half Voss 48 metres out directly in front he's hooked it so they've missed a few 1-1 one, one to Voss and the Crows stay in because of uh, some inaccurate kicking Malcolm Blight it's only a disappointing part of their game tonight really they're kicking for goal Ben Hart wants Wren. Does he get it that far? Oh, good effort by Lawrence. That was gutsy. Beautiful handball. Ascroft should go. He does. Fantastic play. Two goals to Ascroft. Stephen Lawrence the big winner there. David taking on Goliath, wasn't it? Against Wren and winning out. Well, it was clever play too that he didn't give away a free kick when he went back to affect the spoil. Lawrence hasn't played... A lot of foot in the last two years because of knee problems. He was a smart young player before he did his knee. And if the Lions can get him back to his, or near his best, he'll be a terrific player for them come finals time. So the margin is four goals now in favour of Brisbane. Close to half time, they've had 174 possessions to 131 to Adelaide. Rashudo adds to that list for the Crows, kicks to the goal front, and there's a free kick, it's going to Adelaide, Shepparding was it? Around the neck, Robbo, around the neck. And the replay will show it pretty clearly, I reckon. Well, he didn't waste any time with the whistle. Rashudo's kick in, Tim. Yeah, long, and probably just getting one around the neck there. obviously having COVID to say there to the umpire and what even though the free kick was given away White was doing the right thing again wasn't he just becoming the second fellow there to mind Modra Modra kicks the goal the boos coming from the Brisbane fans but emphatically Tony Modra with four goals pulls the game back to an 18 point margin his 67th goal for the season just watch this again. This is where the free kick occurs. Modra having his head almost ripped off by Lynch. Definitely a free kick on that occasion. And the value of a one long kick from around the centre part of the ground then by Rusciuto. But even then, White dropping off his man early. They're intelligent, these Lions defenders. They work very well together. So Rusciuto's been important, hasn't he? When he's been able to get the footy, he's been able to find him. You just wonder why Lynch would argue so vehemently against it. Sometimes you don't the know. player's opinion of what he's done is nowhere near the accuracy. 
So 8-11 to 6-5, and uh, the Crows really don't deserve to be still in this match, but they are at half-time. And if they can regroup, who knows? They were a bit similar last week against St Kilda. I thought that St Kilda played all over them in the first half, and they had so many players down at half-time. They regrouped at half-time, came out a different side in the second half. Free kick to Wren against Keating, who went very early. So we're inside the uh, last minute of this opening half, so a goal either way, big here. Robin goes, Wren slow, and decides now that there's not a player behind Wren. Every player on the ground is in front of Wren. Well, the big fella, he, did, he had a fair while with the footy. He'd be pretty disappointed five minutes ago when Lawrence snapped one off him, and then he... Uh, had Robin leading from 30 seconds early. Now Keating not sure. I think Rowan Saws is pretty disappointed with the way Keating spoke to him for the moment. I'll tell you what, Polly Farmer would have got free kicked every time he went for the ball, but this is a free kick. He always jumped early, got rid of his opposition with his body work, and took the knock out. That's exactly what Keating did. Yes, and uh, I think the Brisbane Lions would be a little bit disappointed with that scoreline at half time. They really had far more of the ball than the Adelaide Crows. They just weren't able to put the score on the board. And I'd just like to see Robberin and the forwards, when they actually lead, to lead right up the ground and to keep going because what they're doing is they're stopping. Their man is just dropping off them straight away and then they're going back to create and cover the space in the Adelaide Crows forward line. But Malcolm Blight, I suppose, he'd be feeling a little bit lucky at halftime because they have been outplayed, but they are within reach of the Brisbane Lions if they can gain a bit of momentum in this second half. So after a patchy first half of footy, the Lions lead the Crows by 18 points, 59 to 41. Here the half, Club and smart back, there's uh, Jamison with White. And Lappin's picking up Bickley, and it'll just be interesting to see what sort of a job Bickley does. He's in half four, but whether he plays more of as a defender against Lappin, because Lappin's had plenty of the ball, 18 touches in the first half. Start of the second half on Friday night footy. Uh, Pittman gets a second go, and it was good in the first half. Rusciuto tries to get through. His strength early was his long kicking out of the centre, and Jarman puts on an effective tackle, and it's going to be a ball up. They really have to attack the ball with a more ferocious style in the second half, the Adelaide Crows. I just believe that they haven't really been on song tonight. Pittman and Clark. Clark works to the front. Pittman tries to shove him out of the way. Gets a second go, Pittman. He's got a bit of time in the end, and then the left foot to full forward. Modra in the front spot. Lynch worked him away cleverly. Modra's quick well done, Lynch, though. Gets a second go. You better be careful. Can't quite get it out. Modra goes through Jamison. The little handball to Vardy. The Lions are able to force it to the boundary line and get it away from the danger area. And a boundary throw in. Champion, who hasn't had a lot to do tonight. We normally see him get high in possessions. Just three kicks, three handballs. The Crows bench, Connell and Stanford and Wren. It's a couple of their bigger fellows. Boundary throw in. Clark worked under it. Pittman's handball to uh, Cook. Can't quite break clear. Voss was in a bit of trouble. Uh, Robin's tackle was OK. Got his boot to a Voss. Out of bounds, left forward pocket. Crows attacking. Need the first goal, you'd think, in this second half. And at the start of the second half, on the bench for the Lions, uh, Bradshaw... Tristan Lynch and Matthew Kennedy. Boundary throw in, left half forward for Adelaide. Kick by Collins, right to the goal line. Modra out in front. Knocked off it by Champion. Looks for Lappin and finds him. Lappin with a little bit of time. Kicks the ball high in the air, gives Keating the chance to make the marking contest. The ball spills for McLeod. He can go in board and find Caven. Caven straightens up, goes for goal. Kicks with length and touched right on the line by Lynch when the Crows really could have done with a goal. Bad luck there for Peter Caven. And Actually, he made something out of nothing. Yeah, sorry, Robbo. Uh, Sean Rem was a little bit slow to react then. He should have gone for the Shepherd a little bit earlier for Caven. Would have just given Caven another couple of metres. So the kick to himself by Champion and then goes short and finds Daryl White. Unbelievably exciting player is Daryl White. Every time he goes near the ball, you have your heart in your mouth. His kick knocked forward by Clark to the back. Lawrence and McLeod taken by Johnson and eventually Caven over for a throw-in. Right in front of us here. We've got a great view here at the Gabba. This ground, the capacity will go from about 22 to 31 in the next 18 months. This big grandstand will extend around to the back of the goals at the left of screen. 
Voss, good tackle on him. Lawrence and McLeod. Mc, uh, Lawrence pushes forward. McLeod sitting on him. Lambert and uh, Goodwin boundary throwing. A bit of a stalemate at the start of the second uh, the second half. 8 11 6 6 Lambert. Best and first win at Richmond and again in Brisbane. Super player. Clark Pittman. Pittman well done to Vardy. Vardy always gets his uh, foot to the ball pretty quickly to half forward. Collins can't keep it in. Again a boundary throw in. Crow's doing a little bit more of the attacking at the start of the second half. And Rashido has had 10 possessions to this point of the game, but he's been pretty well held by Hart. Pittman at the back, Lappin, and he works it to the line. So again, a throw in. The 232s, Hart and Rashido Newell on the line, boundary line. Curls. Yeah, well, this is a situation and when, when the Brisbane aren't, when Brisbane Lions aren't controlling the game like they're not now, the Crows have to be scoring and they're not doing that. Well, it's down to free kick here, Curls, at left half forward for David Pittman being held on to a little bit too long. He did get rid of the football and uh, Clark, the infringer, Pittman with the free kick, kicks to the goal square and a good mark. Well done. Lynch, just reading it better than anybody else there on the full back line for Brisbane. And he will turn the Crows back. Alistair Lynch kicks outside the defensive 50 metre area. Punched away. And now the umpire sees a holding incident. And on this occasion, it might go to Clark. So just a real turnover there. Pittman took the free kick. Clark the infringer a minute ago. And on this occasion, Pittman is the infringer and Clark the kicker. Clark's kicked to half forward. Reaching from behind was Keating. The ball spills. Johnson. Kicked away by Caven, back towards half forward. Good mark taken by Robberen, not paid, and away go the Lions. Views a wobbly punt kick to half forward. In front, good mark. Has that been paid to Fletcher? Well done. Put himself in front and got the, got the nod. Voss, kick towards full forward. It spills to the back. The race is on now. Agile, Ben Hart, beautiful pick up. In the right back pocket, kicks it out wide and finds Costa. Costa, who's been a quiet player, just six possessions for Kim Costa. His kick out wide towards the wing, punched away there from Vardy by Lappin, and a boundary throw-in will take place on centre wing. That was interesting the first time that the ball's gone down to the forward line when Malloy and Smart have had a one-on-one. -on -one. It was Smart who actually outbodied Malloy. It's a good sign for the Crows because Malloy won everything in, the, in that 50-50 contest in the first half. Pittman been good, probably had the better of Clark when he's been on the ball. Lambert kept it in, kicks to full forward. Caven feeling for it. He's been an excellent defender. Caught though, can't get rid of it. Hart in the back pocket. High ball out to half back. Pittman and Clark. Clark works to the front. Pittman takes the mark. He's got Bickley. Decides not to use him. Goes short to Robin at centre wing. He's going to be a key player in the second half. Gives it to Bickley. Centering kickers where the Crows have had all sorts of problems. They've been slaughtered at half forward. And Darrell White. They're going to kick it high. You don't kick it to Darrell White. He'll just uh, keep marking. Champion reads it well off Lappin. Brisbane have had no trouble getting it out of defence to Lepic. At centre wing, Akamanis away from Bond. So the Lions are setting it up well. White's running for him now. Malloy runs to the pocket. Akamanis holds it up. He's wanting someone to move into some space for him. Centre is a ball to centre half or Keating the target. It was a bad kick by Akamanis. It didn't have any momentum at all, couldn't carry and Caven who's been good, takes the mark at centre half back. And Keating just letting uh, Jason Ackermanis know all about that Caven goes to the far side making good position is Smart who's run off Malloy, he's at right half back Nigel Smart, his kick will land in a vacant right half forward area swooping on it as Buse, quite content to take it over for a boundary throw in, between wing and right half forward favouring Adelaide they trail on the scoreboard, they're 6 6 42. the Lions are 8 11 59. No addition to the Lions score so far in this third term, and the Crows have kicked it behind. Boundary throw in, Pittman gets his hand to it first again. He has been effective. Can't clear the congestion. Ashcroft attempted to Lambert, Lambert gathered, then gave it to Lappin. Lappin runs away from centre wing, one bounce. Sets it up. Pretty ordinary kick, really. A wobbly old one, and it's been well marked at half-back by Johnson in front of Fletcher on this occasion. Good chase Johnson. by Robin. Sorry, Robert, just to keep the pressure on that. Fair there. enough. Johnson's kick out wide, and now it's brought back in towards centre-half, back where Bickley has it. He's got no one in front of him, so he runs about four or five paces, 
and then kicks out a push out against Collins. Oh. No. And away go the Crows. It'll be a goal to Vardy when it looked a pretty blatant free kick from here. But it is a goal to the Crows. Vardy gets the goal and the Crows importantly get the first goal of the second half. There's no doubt that this was a free kick. We'll see it coming here on the screen again. Bickley kicking the ball long into the Crows forward line. And Collins just pushing White out of the contest to create that soft crumb and Vardy running onto the ball. Vardy a goal kicking forward for the Adelaide Crows. Just kick a total of 14 goals this year. And the Crows, all important goal. They've closed a bit here. This is the closest margin for a fair while. 8-11 to 7-6. Very unlucky, the Lions there. With uh, Collins getting into uh, White's back. Pittman again. What a game he's playing. Lambert, Sean Hart, quick kick. Lions want the next one just to uh, maintain this advantage. Bradshaw on the ground. at the centre wing. Long and hard to the pocket. Lepic the target. Bond gets back there and has to leave Akamanis to help Hart. But fortunately for the Crows, it goes out of play. Well, Malloy's gone off the ground now, so... He looked slightly injured on it when he came back. I just noticed that uh, he had a bit of a stretch and a bit of a run in the warm-up and I thought he looked a bit sore. He's we had, might check on that. He's actually. had hamstring problems in the past. He's okay, we've been told, so he's been taken off. Fletcher got it from Lambert, sprays at Fletcher for behind. So the Lions, 8-12-7-6. Next five minutes is going to be interesting here, isn't it? If Adelaide can make a run, there's Malloy. A little tightening here in this match, don't you? That uh, the Crows have come out after half time, got a lucky break with a goal, and have done all right. The ball up to centre wing, and forward go Brisbane through Marcus Ashcroft. He's kicked in the area there of Lawrence, not able to take the mark. Fletcher held by Nigel Smart, but the umpire sees that as a ball up about 35 metres from Brisbane's goal. Good play then by Kane Johnson just to get back. Just two goals the margin now in favour of Brisbane. At one stage in the second term, I think it was, they were about 22 points in front. So Adelaide just hanging in there. Bond gets the hand pass to Smart. Oh, he's just got out of the contest by Clark. Voss, Fletcher, now Ashcroft going for another goal. Marcus Ashcroft kicks to the full forward line. Helped through there by Ben Hart on Justin Lepich for a rush behind to Brisbane. That's been a great duel all night, that one, hasn't it? Brad uh, Boyd, who's our man in the outer tonight. Your feeling about the early stage of the second half, Brad? Yeah, Adelaide are doing OK, but just on uh, Jared Malloy, I think uh, he's just having a bit of a rest. Uh, you know, he hasn't had too many games with the, the broken hand, so uh, I think they're just uh, precautionary, give him a rest and uh, freshen him up, bring him on very shortly. Well, it is Adelaide with the football. Mark Rusciuto nearly run down by Hart, but he gets away and then kicks the ball long towards half-forward. Wren gets back. Daryl White, Jamison, still Daryl White, tackled by Wren. Umpire will ball it up at right half-forward for the Crows. I wonder whether he might have been taken off the ground when Smart ran off him there at, at earlier in this quarter. Yeah, well, that's the, only thing, that's the only thing I can think of. Well, if there's nothing wrong with him, which is the report from uh, Brad Boyd, We'll watch that with a bit of interest. And Lynch, that's Tristan Lynch, back onto the ground. Darren Jarman. Well done by Tristan Lynch. The second effort there, very good. And he locks it up for Brisbane on centre wing. 8-13 play, 7-6. The margin is 13 points in favour of Brisbane. And we've got 11 and a half minutes left in the third term. Malcolm Blight getting desperate across half forward. He's brought Sean Wren onto the ground. He's playing him at centre half forward to have that tall target there. And he's been picked up by Richard Champion. Bickley gets it to Jarman, Jarman high ball under pressure, he might get away with this keeping his eye on it, Collins did a fair job Vardy, well done, good shepherd by Collins Vardy is a good kick, goes for it from the pocket, wonderful goal beauty, they're back in business young Collins did a terrific job out there then, with the shepherd and Vardy, that's his value goal kicking forward tough nut, and the Crows have closed here Let's have a look at this effort by uh, young number 17. He kept his eyes on the ball, didn't he? He went back. It was a, a difficult ball to be going for. Buse missed everything. He really should have taken either the ball or the player out. And Vardy, that's a good bit of finishing. His second goal for the quarter. Well, you just missed the, well, the commercial break. It was on the little bit of friendly banter between Andrew Buse and Peter Vardy. 
But I would suggest that Peter Vardy's got the last laugh. He's kicked his second goal for this term. And the Crows' eighth, it is just seven points the margin. Brisbane have the ball at centre-half forward. Trying to swoop on it is Lynch. Not Lynch, Lawrence rather. And in his endeavours to get at the footy, he has grabbed hold of Peter Caven and given away the free kick. Caven's kick into the middle of the ground. Robran, very, very good reaction there hit the ground running grabbed it then hand passed away to Jamison he's kicked towards full forward here's another goal to Adelaide kicked by Sean Wren and there's a point in it so the Crows have got plenty to cheer about their fans there's a few of them here tonight too and they trail now by just a point and that's the beauty of no nonsense straight up the ground type football and good to see Robert pushing up the ground. He's done that on a couple of occasions in this third quarter. By far the best quarter football he's played tonight. And he needs to do that because he also drags Dick Foss up the ground when he does it. And they right in this. Can you believe it? Just a point in it. Robin getting touches. The Crows in business. Caden's been good at half forward. Voss held up. That's a free kick. Pickman's been sensational. Yep. In this third term. So Voss wide, not sure why he got it. Bickley might have been a bit high. Hart was off. No free kick uh, or no play on call, but Hart belts it to half forward. Good effort by uh, Clark, then tries to shrug it off. Throws in much harder now. They've had a little sniff and they're responding and I think we're in for a good game of footy. It's been pretty patchy so far, Neil, but suddenly you do feel a real change here. Curls? The Crows have lifted their work rate brutes and Voss has now been picked up by Bickley. So Pittman and Clark, Pittman tries to lay it down, Voss in the pocket, clever, no heart belts it on, probably not the required distance taken by Ben Hart, then tries to shrug off Lawrence, who's got him, and ping Ben Hart, was a fantastic ever by young Lawrence. Do you think he's got a chance to get rid of the ball? Well, he's had it, boom, and then he's grabbed him now, and he's, he's tugging it in a bit. I would have played it holding the footy. I didn't think he had fire opportunity, really. I thought he just ran out and was collared. But here we go. Lawrence lining up for a goal. He's got it. His first, an important one too. It gives the Lions some breathing space in their first goal of the second half. Well, they needed a goal, and they needed a goal quickly. And we'll just watch this free kick again. Hart doing a good job and really had he had two steps then to get rid of the ball and I would have thought that that would have been just a ball up situation on that occasion Nine thirteen, nine six. 9 6 Brad Boyd yeah uh, just wanted to add that that's my housemate Stephen Lawrence and he's been out for a while but he's having a real impact tonight and that was good hard footy yeah must be a pretty popular player here at Brisbane because uh, he has received quite a few plaudits. Congratulations for his efforts so far since coming off the bench. A real struggle for a clearance here from the centre bounce. Oh. Now the umpire has penalised Adelaide once again for not moving the ball on. And on this occasion... Costa. It's Costa, is it? And the free kick going to Sean Hart. Incredible. Anyway, it is a free kick and there's a mark. Standing his ground, Lepic. Ben Hart jumping early, but Lepic, the ball on his chest, and he's marked about 45 metres out directly in front. Just Should have been a free kick ground. anyway, wouldn't it? A free kick anyway, yes. Yeah. 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 Again, all over the top of him. Well, Lepic has kicked two. He's a pretty good kick too, Justin Lepic. Right in front, gets magnificent distance, straight over the goal umpire's head. Three goals to Lepic. He's a good player, that young fellow. He's an exciting type, strong, hard, quick, and a goal kicker. And they've locked him up again for another two years because he's going to, or he's about to re-sign, or he already has re-signed with the Lions for another two years after this season. And he's been a very good player for them this year. This is his 34th goal for the season. And having him and Malloy down there in the forward line in the first half, very dangerous forwards to mind. Lepic is third, and Smart's gone to the forward line, and Jamison has gone to the back line. In fact, Smart coming off the ground for the Crows by the look of it. So that's an interesting move too. 
Pittman again winning it. What a game he's played. Kicks to centre half forward. Robin hasn't been able to get into these contests. That's been his problem. Coming onto the ground there was uh, Stanfield, but a little one by White. So the Lions have answered well here. Maybe a controversial free kick against Ben Hart. Lawrence earning one there. And there's Nigel Smart looking disappointed. Neil Curley. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know if you heard me before, but the two big possession winners in the first half, Jarman and Voss, have hardly been sighted this quarter. Yeah, no, it's fair enough, Neil. Wren in the front spot, Stanfield. Keeping his eyes hard on it was uh, Collins, and Bickley looking for a free kick, not getting it. Two good tackles applied there by Buse. It's been one of his trademarks, hasn't it? Well, not giving the free kick away, you know, going, I think it's, what, what do you aim for, the hips with those tackles? And uh, very fair, clean and fierce tackles. Suddenly the Crows need another goal, White, fresh air shot, free kick going to White. So the Crows are not getting the best of it in this term. An injury. Darrell White, looked like he copped a hard one, picking himself up a bit slowly. So Adelaide giving away a string of free kicks. We might get another look at this one. It's Stanfield, and crashing in there, was it Bickley from the side? Bickley over the top. So White's free. Well, he looks as though he's OK. Perhaps the trainers will have another check out of Darrell White. He gave the hand pass away and the kick wide towards uh, left half back. Boss has a bit of a look. Vision not bad. He kicked, kicked it into a uh, neutral zone. Great tap on there by Keating. Look for Akamanis. The Crows, though, are up to it. Bond gets it wide to Jarman. Jarman now being called to play on. Maybe it was an advantage there for Adelaide. Caven to be run down. No. Got his kick away. Two half forwards. Gathered beautifully. It bounced quite nicely in the finish for Champion. His kick. Looks for Lynch, ducks on the champion. Champion can go short. No, he's going to go long towards centre half forward. In the direction of Lepic and Ben Hart. Caven. Lepic to make a contest. Maybe hold the ball up. Clark snaps off the goal. Bounces, bounces, bounces. Where's it going to go now? Through for a behind. 14th behind to Brisbane. 10-14 to 9-6. The margin is 14 points in favour of the home side. Six minutes left in the third term and the kick in by Ben Hart is all right and it finds Goodwin. What's the situation with Nigel Smart, Neil? No, no good. He's got a slight hamstring strain again. He came into the game with that in doubt and it's, uh, it's affecting him now. Good mark taken by Keating by the look of the centre wing. He's only out for one, wasn't he smart with a hammy? Which is a quick comeback. So Keating at centre wing. He's going to be vital in the run to the final smart so they want to get him right now. Kicks it laterally to Lawrence, who got that important goal against the flow when the Crows looked a real chance. Wider to champion. It's 10-14 to 9-6. The champion can run off smart. Uh, Ren surely can take him on. And he does. Ren did a fair job and makes him float it. So champion will be disappointed. He had Lappin inside for the handball and didn't use him. There's uh, White. And Johnson gets it. And half back. It's a bit disorientated, had no momentum up, but was good enough to get around Tristan Lynch. Big play here, Robber in front spot. Well done, Dick Foss. Collins, no free kick, ricochets away. Voss read it well. Chip pass to half forward, Bradshaw onto it. Back to Voss, wonderful vision to champion. Loves this situation, champion. Runs for goal, gives it his uh, best shot, and it's not too good. And Caven's back to take the mark. So champion's copped it up twice here, going forward, and a short pass taken uh, by Bickley. And Justin Lepage had plenty to say to Richard Champion then too, about not kicking the ball to him. See, what an excitement machine Michael Voss is, isn't he? When he gets the ball. The kick there by Goodwin clears the pack. The race is on now. Kicked away there by Pittman. And the Birmingham Pile will throw it in on centre wing. He's been superb tonight. Pittman, not only at the bounces around the ground too, he's gained plenty of possessions. So it's Clark and Pittman to contest this boundary throw-in. Again, Pittman gets his hand to it, but only as far as Tristan Lynch. His left foot kick towards centre-half forward. Marking contest, beautifully taken away from there by McLeod. McLeod's kick is direct and goes long, about 55 to 60 metres. Rolls in towards the goals, but it's Lappin mopping up again. Beautiful stuff by Nigel Lappin. Possession number 22 from that player, and it is effective to Ackermanis. Ackermanis is at right half back, kicks it in towards the middle of the ground. Buse has run down from the back pocket. He's quite prepared to play on. Kicks with the left foot to half forward. Good mark taken by Bradshaw. Handy man to have on the bench, isn't he? 
He goes for goal. Getting back quickly. Oh, great mark taken by Sean Hart. Probably the smallest player back there in the finish. And to the pleasure of the Lions fans, Sean Hart will kick for Brisbane's 11th goal. And you can see there, not much of a worry confronting Hart. He's only a matter of eight metres out directly in front. And he does convert. It is a goal to Brisbane. Second goal for the match to Sean Hart. And when Adelaide did get the lead a few minutes ago by just one point, the Lions have hit back and they now lead again by 20 points. And terrific play here by Hart. He's been playing on Rashudo all night. He's done a good job on Rashudo. And just watch the way he works Rashudo the other way. Terrific play, just saying to Rashudo, OK, I'll look after you when you've got the ball, but you've got to look after me when we've got the ball. Making their move, the Lions have responded well here with the last three goals in the match. 11-14 to 9-6 has been much the, the margin throughout the night what it is right now. Johnson out of the centre for the Crows. Kicks the ball to half forward. Collins it belts away from him. Lapman has been fantastic tonight. Chasing hard. He's, he's, one, he's one of those space eaters I was talking about before the game, Bruce. You like that terminology? Can you sort of give us a little more hint as to what you mean by that? Well, he just covers ground so quickly, he becomes that second or third player at a contest and he mops up. He's a real quarterback architect across half-back. Costa, handballs forward. I've written it all down. I'm going to work it out tonight. Kennedy hasn't had many runs. Might it be the first time he's been on. Kicks the ball. Duke Bradshaw. The heights worry Jamison. Whoever he's played on tonight, he's just been a bit outgunned. High ball. They're confident kicking it in high with Lepic. Well read by Stephen Lawrence, and he kicks another one. And the Lions are home, I reckon. Every Bomber supporter in Melbourne. <laughs> don't say it again. <laughs> you did us in in Sydney last week, but if they get bent, they get beaten tonight. I'll walk to Sydney tomorrow. They're home. The Lions almost have an embarrassment of riches up forward, don't they? We see Bradshaw, who started on the bench tonight. He's come onto the ground since Jared Malloy really took the Crows apart in the first half. Malloy on the bench for an unknown reason at this stage. He appears he may have hurt himself for some... Well, it's all been registered, Bruce, at the 2 minute 44 minute mark left in the uh, third quarter. Some people on the highway might see you walking to Sydney tomorrow for the Crows get up. 9-6-60 Adelaide, they trail. Well, it's a pretty ordinary scorecard for them at this stage. The Lions 12-14-86, a margin, 26 points. And McRae on the bench for Brisbane, sitting out the remainder of this third term. Pittman has been just terrific. He gets another clearance away from the ruck contest, out wide. No one really there, knocked forward, and Lappin, again, another possession, and effective. Clark, probably trying to be a little bit too fancy. Caven, quickly, towards half forward, the bounce all important, but getting back to help out is Buse again. He's very good at that. Lambert, then Buse, across the half-back line. Lynch, dropping the mark, but able to recover. One bounce, it didn't quite come back to him, but he was able to gather, then kick to half forward, the mark is taken back there by Jamison. Jamison for Adelaide, can go to Wren, he goes further wide onto this near side of the ground, where Robberin has let out. Oh, look, he's gathered, then knocked it back to the advantage of his opponent in Lynch. Well done, Lynch. Knocked it across to Dick Voss. Dick Voss to Voss. Voss, another one of those creators. Lynch, off the side of his boot, but uh, fortunately for Brisbane, it didn't slew off too much, and it has been marked at right half forward by Fletcher. 12-14 to 9-6, 26 points the advantage in favour of Brisbane. Fletcher to Boss. Boss's kick, good penetration right up to the goal line where a free kick has been found out of that marking contest. It will go to Adelaide to be taken by Ben Hart. 50 metre penalty being applied here, maybe... The Brisbane boys not getting the ball back. It's not Ben Hart that's going to take it. It's Rodney Jamison. And the player being brought back is Bradshaw, nearly to the middle of the ground. So just a minute left in this third term. 12-14-86 to 9-6-60. 26 points in favour of the Lions. Robin, the target. Dick Foss with him. Is a, he's been all night. Akamanis who gave the 50 away. Quick kick to centre wing. Bond. 
Taking views on, well done views to keep going at him. It's a fair age difference there. Stanfield, few touches, then runs into uh, Connell. Connell able to get around his teammate. Pops it high, Ben Hart's drifted forward. Modra actually spoiled his own man in the end. Champion, oh clever, to Voss. Good play at the back. Voss is away, Hart to run him down, kept the pressure on. Nicely in board to, uh, to Ashcroft. Ashcroft just pushes it wide, gets to uh, Lynch. Vardy on the mark, Vardy was important early in this quarter. Voss, who certainly had more touches than Jarman in this turn. Well done to Ashcroft, he's got Fletcher outside of him. Centering kick is a beauty. Lepic couldn't quite take it, gets a second go. Smother, good play, Crows at the back. Back to Lepic, he has the fumble. Back to Clark, siren sounds, three quarter time. Exciting stuff at the end. But the Lions have taken a giant step forward. They kick the last four goals of the quarter. They get a standing ovation. They've stretched their lead at every change from 9 to 18 to 26. And they lead at three-quarter time, 12-14 to 9-6. They had all the answers, didn't they? In that quarter, the Brisbane Lions, the Crows crept within one point. And then it was really just a sign for the Brisbane Lions to put their foot to the accelerator, press down, and then they went away with it towards the end of that third quarter. Up forward, they brought Bradshaw onto the ground. He's been a good player for them up there. He's just another marking target. And they've stretched the Crows' defence all night. The Crows' defenders have really struggled to play and beat their opponent in that forward line. They've had Ackermanis up there getting the ball at ground level and bringing on Lawrence also, who's been a very good player for them since he came onto the ground. And Malcolm Blight would have his worries here at three-quarter time. He's tried everything, even hard, into the forward line late in that third quarter. Three-quarter time, the Lions 12, 14, 86, leading by 26 points. The Crows 9, 6, 60. Six as we start the final term on Friday night football. The footy's home ground here, the Gabba, in Brisbane. Pittman has been super. Costa's been quiet. Johnson kicks the half forward, belted away by uh, Darrell White. Lat Lambert, who did the job on Jarman. Jarman starting forward. Lovely hands to Costa. Misses the target. Connell puts him under great pressure. Champion gives him a little shove. Runs it out of play. Wasted opportunity. It was a pity that Costa didn't handball to Jarman. Reverse it, it would have been a goal. And the impetus that the Crows could have got, if they might have been able to capitalise on that, could have been quite interesting. But uh, it's gone wanting. There's McRae and Kennedy warming the bench at the start of the last quarter for Brisbane. Boundary throw in in the right forward pocket for Adelaide. Ashcroft tackle on Costa. With the football in the back pocket is Tristan Lynch, but he's taken over for a throw in. That's an ominous sign, isn't it, when you see Matthew Kennedy on the bench, has been there all night, and one of their better players last year. As we see the Crows bench there, Nigel Smart, we believe that he's re-injured his hamstring. Yes, he looks a little disconsolate, doesn't he? Lambert on Vardy. Vardy's kick has been marked by Champion. Quickly plays on. Handball over the goal square to Lynch. That's Alistair Lynch. His kick in towards the centre. Good contest provided by Johnson, was it? Now it's Connell. Connell's kick for goal. Will go through for an Adelaide goal. So their tenth is on the scoreboard. Well done by Matthew Connell. He kicks his first goal. The Crows get their 10th, and they're still in this match. There's no doubt about that. This kick, probably the wrong option. Be really careful when you kick the ball out of defence to a 50-50 back in the corridor of the ground. And a good turnover there by the Crows. Caven was good there. 10, 6, 12, 14. Caven very good in cutting off the kick, and then Bickley's handball was excellent to Connor. So the Crows get the first goal. Keating's kicked a half forward. McLeod, given a little push. Kept his balance, or clever. Good handball to Jamison. One bounce, Bradshaw after him. Providing a shepherd there was uh, Connell. The kick to half forward. Wren tried to build it forward. Lappin, the tackle at the back to put him under pressure. Then Wren, handball in board. Nobody at the moment. Connell, just a high ball. Wanting and hoping. Champion keeps his eye on it. Coming across was Vardy. Uh, also, Champion getting back, so that's a good effort by Richard Champion. Not much of a contest there by a couple of players. His handle inside was terrific. Lambert then uh, had some vision and kicked it around the corner. Wanting Voss, nice give. The handball was excellent to Champion. He's worked very hard in this passage of play. Brings the ball to half forward, but cut off there by uh, Goodwin. And Goodwin has uh, showed a few signs, kicks it back to half forward. 
Vardy in the front spot. And Vardy tries to run away there from the champion. He succeeds and kicks the ball towards full forward. Nearly the mark to Jarman. It hasn't been paid. Lynch makes the football his. Tries to knock it clear. His attempt was all right. Collins underneath there for Adelaide. And it's locked up about 40 metres from the Adelaide goal. Another goal here to Adelaide would make it pretty interesting. Right now they trail by 20 points. And the ball certainly within scoring distance for the Crows. Ruck contest. You can see David Pittman, number 15, up against Keating, number 27. Keating nearly infringing. Rusciuto tried to crush his way through, tackled by Lambert. And the umpire will bounce once again. Craig Lambert with uh, seven kicks and 11 hand passes. We've become accustomed to the use of the handball by Craig Lambert. Umpire just trying to get some space there to bounce the ball. Pittman has been terrific. And he's going to get a free kick, I think. Certainly had the front posse. And in his endeavours to try and get at the football, Keating has infringed against the big Adelaide Crows player. And that decision has bewildered more than one uh, Lions player there. Well, certainly Pittman doing well to uh, put himself in the position there to get the nod from the umpire. Now, if David Pittman kicks this... You better get those Adidas runners out, Bruce, because they might not... Who's that fella? Cliff, Cliff Young? They might be walking down the highway with Cliffy. Puma, Robert. They're sponsoring the World Athletics <laughs> Championships this year. <laughs> well, it's David Pittman. He's a pretty good kick of the footy, too. He gets good distance with it. He kicks, and he kicks accurately. <laughs> 14 points the margin in favour of Brisbane with 16 and a half minutes left in the match. Well, it may, it may still prove to be a very close game, this one. A doubtful free kick then to Pittman. I didn't believe that Keating actually scragged him at all in that ruck duel. And Adelaide, as we saw in the third quarter, coming back again. So the Crows do close, 11, 6, 12, 14, Pittman has been outstanding Keating Pittman gets over him again pushes forward Voss beats Pickley for it in a very good effort and then kicks the ball to half forward wanting Bradshaw who was pretty handy late in the third quarter inside Akamanis with pace good tackle by Bond Akamanis to the goal square Malloy getting back good one touches it through for behind 12-15 to 11-6 Jarman looks very sore at half forward for the Crows I noticed a moment ago when he nearly took that mark a few mm. minutes ago, I reckon he, he caught one and he's really struggling. Ben Hart, who has, uh, is such a fine player, but he hasn't kicked the footy as well this year. He's uh, missed the target a few times. That one short to Bond. Didn't get it far enough really. Now McLeod can move for Bond. He does now. McLeod with some space. Takes too long. Not a good effort by McLeod. Run down by Malloy. Not sure what happened in the crowd there, where well, he just couldn't feel Malloy coming. But uh, it's a turnover, and Voss gets it, and then pumps it back to full forward. Bradshaw's high flight, too good. And poor old Rodney Jamison has been outmarked all night, just not tall enough at the back. And he hasn't got the spring of a couple of the younger players against him tonight. I mean, Do they've got some young forwards with some talent, though, haven't you? You've got Leppage, Bradshaw, Malloy and Ackermanis to clean up and young Lawrence also Bradshaw 18 years of age 30 metres out kicks the goal a terrific goal well it's the one Adelaide didn't want them to kick and really if you go back to that mistake then by McLeod, he had plenty of time to sum up exactly what he should have been doing. The ball could have been placed to Bickley as it was. He kicked the ball out of bounds on the full. And after the turnover, the Lions have kicked away again with another goal. 13-15 to 11-6 margin. Back to 21 points in favour of Brisbane. And a huge big punch by Keating. Towards half forward, gathered by Bond. Runs away from Akamanis, but Akamanis did a pretty good job. 
just applied the pressure with his presence. Lynch to Lambert. That's Tristan Lynch. Lambert's kicked to half forward. Punched away by the Crows defence. Knocked forward again on the end of it is Bradshaw. Bradshaw's short kick is marked by Lambert. Clever play by Bradshaw. Lambert about 70 metres from goal. Short kick. I think he was looking for uh, Malloy at half forward. Bickley. High ball. Panicked a bit there, Bickley. Probably had a little bit more time to half back. Built it away by Lambert. Costa after it hard. It's had a quiet night. Has a chance to look up. Campbell puts uh, Johnson under a bit of the hammer. Good take, Robin. Clever. Then tries to get away. Tries to tap it out to Johnson. Views onto him. They call for holding the ball. Good decision to let it go. Hart gets it from uh, Dick Frost back to half forward. Bond free kick against the Crows to Akamanis. It's been good, Akamanis. Usually uses it. Ashcroft works for him. Vardy. Oh, Ashcroft keeps it in. Now Vardy. That's a good contest again. Vardy's little kick to set a half forward. Bradshaw hard at it. Jamison run down at the back by a Fletcher. The ball's still to be won. McLeod, did he throw it away? Back to Voss. Voss off uh, a standing start. You're back Malloy here. And Ben Hart did a fantastic job against the odds, I reckon. He certainly did. Well done, because Malloy had the drop on him. And Ben Hart stood his ground like uh, a real man here. Gave it everything. Shades of uh, McGrath last week, in a way. Snap, very good. Goal, Akamanis. They've had the answers, haven't they, all night? Every time the Crows have threatened, the Lions have responded like a good team. And really, as we watch this, we just see the kick on the end there by Akamanis. Troy Bond has been minding him, just giving him far too much latitude when that bounce was taken on that occasion. Jason Ackermanis becomes the ninth goal kicker for Brisbane in that scoreline of 14-15-99. They lead the Crows by 27 points now, so they've uh, extended their three-quarter time break, which was at that stage 26 points. Kick forward by Costa into the left forward pocket. Goes past Modra and Lynch. And over for a throw-in. Neil Curley's down on the boundary line, Neil. You there, Curls? We can't hear you, mate. In mean, the quarter, one of the reasons why uh, Lynch was taken off for not chasing, but he certainly chased hard there after McLeod and brought that goal back. Yes, yeah, so I think they're the one percenters that the coaches really love to see. It's kicked away by Brisbane, back towards the centre of the ground, gathered by Bond. Off the left foot goes Bond. His kick, and it's well marked by Keating. He stands tall, doesn't he, Clark Keating? He got a terrific uh, bang out of one of those rough contests just a minute ago. Lynch gets it. That's Tristan Lynch to Nigel Lappin. Lappin's kick out in front of Ackermanis, which was a good kick in the finish. Ackermanis able to run. Not really in the finish. He had to change stride and then puts it on the chest. Eventually, gee, was there some anxious moments there for young Stephen Lawrence, but he's taken the mark. He's kicked uh, two goals since coming off the interchange field. Oh. His kick has been marked by Malloy in front of Ben Hart. Again, too strong. Just too strong. And possesses wonderful judgment, too, for a high ball like that. And one has to wonder why he was kept off the ground for so long in the third quarter. He's kicked his second goal, Jared Malloy. That margin now out to 33 points. So long term Tim, Ben Hart and Rod Jamison as the key defenders for the Crows tonight. They've just been found wanting, haven't they, here? Yeah, they probably have, but you'd have to have a look over the whole season, Bruce. Yeah. And yeah, the Crows have had one of the best defensive combinations in the competition, so on most weeks they've done well. 15-15 to 11-6, 105 to 72. Just outgunned at the back tonight, the Crows, with this uh, firepower that uh, Brisbane have got up forward. Ha uh, ran over the top, Pittman now playing at centre half forward, Fletcher, so important here for Adelaide that this doesn't blow right out from a percentage point of view, they've got the best in the comp so far, but Brisbane's also got a healthy one Hart gets it, oh pulls it beautifully, just held it up for Fletcher 
and it's been raining goals in the last few minutes for the Lions 15-15 to 11-6 33 points the margin the big margin of the match so far and the prospect of coming up here to play Brisbane late in the season is not a pleasant one got uh, three more home games and three away Fletcher strong it's a touch by ring a behind they're going to cement themselves in the eight tonight and really have a grip on a, a top four spot for the moment Brisbane still a lot of footy to be played in the most unreliable season ever in terms of uh, favourites winning so predictions are very difficult to make but right now Brisbane are on the way to a reasonable spot you reckon at the end of the year so the ball is still in the defensive 50 metre area as far as Adelaide is concerned it is with Peter Caven Caven's kick will land close to the wing gathered by Keating and eventually Voss kicks the ball to half forward and a good diving mark taken there by Peter Caven he's been a good trier all night for Adelaide McLeod again dumped after he kicked towards half forward, nearly taken by Pittman Bickley gets it out, Vardy in turn there to Collins Collins kicks towards the half forward area, bounces awkwardly running onto a Jarman but well done by Darrell White, handball over his head Tristan Lynch and Jarman and the ball goes over for a throw in, right half forward for Adelaide probably two kicks from their goal and Tristan Lynch doing pretty well in those uh, just small one percenters for Brisbane about 75 metres around from the Adelaide goal Michael Voss handball over his head contest there between Costa and Tristan Lynch then Connell now Jamison Jamison's kick is high will land within scoring distance but it's punched away by Buse close to the line and we'll have a throw in. Jamison there in picture. 106 plays, 72. Brisbane lead by 34 points. We're more than halfway through this last quarter. Crows in attack. Trying to salvage something now from the match. Modra's has been well held after half time. Yes, he has. I suppose when you're looking at planning to play against Adelaide Crows, there's two players you'd want to stop. One is Jarman, who's had a fair game. But the other guy's Rusciuto and he's been kept by heart to just 11 possessions. See the centre breaks there, Brisbane on top in this quarter. Adelaide had the best of it in the third, Brisbane the best of it in the first half. Keating building it out, so we'll try again. Crowd getting really involved here. Must be a full house here. Tickets were impossible to get during the day. Wren, good tap over the top, running onto a Costa, barging through, can he control it? Good handball to Jarman, under pressure, left foot snap, not good enough. Lepic cut it off and Lepic boots it out towards Lappin and Lappin's got a bit of space as he often does goes to Lynch, I think he's enjoyed the second half crowd going for the Mexican wave I guess they can see that maybe the Brisbane side will win this match not enough time left for Adelaide Fletcher and they're not playing well enough on top of that Fletcher in towards full forward excellent mark taken by Agamanis he's an integral part of his team up on that forward line, very, very lively. He's coming up for his 21st possession. He's kicked a goal. So going for his second goal from about 30 metres out. Jason Ackermanis, tight angle, goes for goal and kicks it. Simplified. You'd really have to say that the Lions have won more one-on-one -on -one battles right across the ground than the Adelaide Crows all night. They've had winners in defence, they've had winners in the midfield, and they've had winners up forward. And really, when you look at the way the game has gone and been played, it's surprising that the Crows have held on for as long as they have. Good effort by Ekermanis. Lions charging home here, getting some uh, big percentage points and some bragging rights maybe at the end of the year. Wren wins the tap. Lappin yet again to centre wing. Lawrence with him is Goodwin. Costa with him. Costa joining in. Well done, Costa. 
few touches late in the game, quite early. Vardy's been okay, belts it back to centre half forward. Robin's been well held, tries to get rid of his man. Under a bit of pressure there, Buse at the back. Just gives it up a bit to Pittman. Back to Jarman, should kick the goal, misses. He's had two shots for goal in the last quarter and hasn't done enough. Neil Curley down on the boundary line. Yeah, Chris, well, the Crows have been outplayed tonight. There's no question of shadow of doubt there, but with Jarman, Rusciuto and Smart all, un all ineffective in the second half, that's one of the reasons why the, the Lions are completely on top. Lynch kicks out wide. I wonder what... Uh, I know Brad's still out in the outer. Brad, you must be absolutely thrilled with the way the Lions are finishing off. Yeah, I'm as happy as Larry down here, and uh, it's just good to see. I mean, at every line, we're just so strong and so even around the ground, and... Uh, that's been the uh, story of the night. Fantastic. Where's that spot for you, Brad? Pardon? Where's that little spot for you? Yeah, I've been seeing you trying to work one out, and there doesn't appear to be one at the moment. Uh, it's been a pretty even team performance. Yeah, There's a mark great. for Modra. The kick coming in from Connell. So Modra, the opportunity to kick his fifth goal, and he's 68th for the season. Another example of a long kick to the top of the square. Lynch just losing his balance and going down onto one knee, giving Modra enough space to run in and take that mark uncontested. So Modra, the player on the mark, is about 15 metres out, and Modra kicks his fifth goal. So how would you assess Tony Modra's performance? Tim, five goals out of 12, but... Uh, well, you'd have to say that that's a reasonable effort, but really I think on most of the one-on-one -on -one occasions, Lynch has beaten him, and I guess at the end of the day you'd have to say five goals is a good return, but two of those have come from free kicks, one off the ground, which was a freakish goal from the pocket. Yeah, it's an interesting assessment. How do you assess Modra's performance tonight? Five out of 12 sounds terrific four in the first half, a couple of goals from free kicks, one a fantastic off the ground, but Lynch has done very well. Caven kicking the ball laterally. There's been a big difference too, Bruce. He's taken uh, Clark out of the ruck and put Keating into those centre bounces. Pittman was dominating, putting a lot of pressure on the half-back line. They were up to it, but now Keating has uh, been terrific. But uh, he's also against Ren for a lot of the time with Pittman at centre-half forward. No, no, there's no doubt true. Pittman's their number one ruckman now. Starting to get the ball out of the middle of the lines. Now Caven under pressure across the half-back line. Able to gather. Then the hand pass smothered by Boss. Bickley. Good play there by Malloy again. Oh, gee whiz. They'd have to stand tall, some of those fellas, with Malloy down there. Hart's kick. Well done there by Bond. The awkward bouncing ball. He's taken it over for a throw-in. Malcolm Blight. Plenty of concerns tonight, the Adelaide coach. It's been a good experience, hasn't it, for Malloy to play so much of his early football in the defence. See if the decision... Because now that he's gone forward, he actually plays a forward line position like a defender. So, opportunity there for Costa, Ashcroft, Vardy, and Kim Costa just looking a little frustrated there. Not able to handle the ball cleanly, and the boundary umpire will throw it in. Between wing and right half forward for the Brisbane side, they lead 16-16 to 12-7. So it's 33 points the margin. Now the uh, Lions go forward through Hart. His kick to the full forward area. Bond takes it away and then kicks it high back towards the centre. Hughes sits underneath. Oh, great Mark Jamison. Spectacular. Hughes was sitting underneath it for a long time. The high ball from Bond. Jamison back to centre half forward. And Mod, uh, not Modra, Robren. And Dick Foss again just building it away. Not sure if you'll get votes tonight, Dick Foss, but I reckon he would if you're a Brisbane Lion coach. He's been fantastic. The kick out of bounds on the full, so Rashido to get it for the Crows. Good mark by Jamison. Great leap, wasn't it? Yeah, excellent. Darrell White coming in late and views underneath. It's Mark Rashido. Wonderful season. Quite a night tonight. They got goals to the Crows from long kicks of his. Collins at the back, goes to ground. Costa, the tackling's been a feature of the Lions. Back to Pittman, back to Vardy. Vardy on the left foot, high ball into the pocket, Lynch and Dick Foss, and Dick Foss keeping his eye on it. And they've been so tall and strong at the back. He looks like he's a favoured player too to the, for the crowd, Danny Dick Foss. And they're going to get the ball right up under their full forward line here after Dick Foss marked on the goal line he was defending. Tristan Lynch's lovely little left 
good kick. He's a natural right footer. But Voss really advantaged by that pass. Voss has kicked the centre half forward. Gathered by Bradshaw. Gets it back to Lawrence. Lawrence has spotted a player and unselfishly puts it on the chest there of Keating. Keating yet to kick a goal, but he could uh, certainly kick one from this position. He's only about 30 metres out directly in front. Keating just drifting down there all alone. A few holes starting to appear now. Keating going for Brisbane's 17th goal. And he does just that. Keating's first goal. And Brisbane go marching on there 17 16, 118. The Crows 12 7 79. So that margin now is blown out to 39 points. I doubt whether there'd be a better defensive unit in the competition at the moment than Lynch, Dick Foss, White, Champion, Hughes and Lappin. Seventeen goals to twelve, seventeen sixteen to twelve seven. Thirty-three scoring shots to nineteen. Lions with a big win here at home. Out of the centre, Bickley crashing and then crashing again and uh, kicking the ball to half forward. But this defence of uh, the Lions has been superb. Dick Foss's hand to Lynch. It's Tristan Lynch. He might go back to Darrell White. No, he decides against. Clever kick, actually. Found the line. Kicked it to touch in rugby terms. Tim, you were talking about the defence. So we've got uh, some funny business going on behind the, uh, behind the ground. Not a pretty sight to be truthful. Rusciuto gets through. That bloke might get a kick at him in a the rubber. They're going to kick it in his direction. He's going to kick in the backside. I think uh, free kick going to Jamison at 50. Darrell White just explaining to Rowan Saws exactly what's going on. I thought it might have been a ball up, Bruce. <laughs> we should explain that a man ran onto the ground with no clothes on at all. And he wasn't built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I can promise you. Amazing what some of us four X can do to you, isn't it? Just the Jamison tries a torpedo punt, kicks to the front of the square in the end. That's a terrible result. And unfortunately for Adelaide, just been too many uncontested balls there. And Lepic just dropped back to take the mark. They couldn't get him over the fence of late, so they're gonna have to walk him around. Good mark, uh, Jarman. Well, let's get on with the footy, I guess, because it's much better to watch that than what going on around the boundary line. This is Darren Jarman with the football. He's had 22 possessions. He runs around and kicks the ball to the goal front. Keating tries to very fiercely kick it off the ground. Not really all that effective. Modra, great shot by Tony Modra. He's got six goals against his name. That really was a good kick for goal. He was very close to the boundary line and had to hook it back over his left shoulder and did so very, very nicely. Well, it's the second freakish goal he's kicked out. We see him there contesting the mark. The ball goes out wide. He chases up and hardly daylight between the goals. Screws it back and that's his sixth goal for the evening. Tony Mondra never out of the game. So late goal for the close. Terrific kick by Mondra. 17-16 to 13-7, 33 points the margin, Wren probably just won it, Jarman, quick kick to half forward, Lepic attacks hard, so Caven and Lepic at the opposite ends of the ground to what they started from, oh fantastic effort by Malloy, McLeod read it beautifully, should go to Connell, it was a very ordinary kick and now Connell is under pressure when he gets it and his kick is dreadful, Voss almost, Bickley can he get through, so Adelaide that's bad play. McLeod and Connell with wasted chances. And the ball back to half forward. Goodwin should use. McLeod doesn't. Not smart footy crows. Malloy. Back to Fletcher. Fletcher in board to Kidding. Wren, good effort to come in at the back. Caven, free kick here going to Wren. So Sean Wren, who's had a fair bit of play again tonight. He's starting to run into a bit of form. He kicks wide. Caven again searching for it. Voss to sit on him, Caven's handball inside to Connell, 
O'Connell should go in board to Pittman, he does. Pittman should go out wide maybe to Jamison, no goes back to Bickley. Gee, they're taking their time. Now the long hand ball to Jamison, it's a long way home. Jamison kicks the ball across the goal for Rusciuto. Lynch was there, quick kick by Connell, is it? Vardy. Vardy for a behind, thanks Robbo. Boy, how would you like to have plot that forward movement? Terrible, huh? It was, it was untidy. It was reasonably good defensive play then by the Lions though, because they just kept forcing them wider and wider. But the first two kicks missed their mark They missed on, their mark, and one of the things that the Adelaide Crows haven't done well tonight is they haven't supported each other with their running very well, and they've never protected the ball carrier tonight. Pretty Malcolm good stats. Bly Sorry, Tim, go on. My Malcolm Bly would be very disappointed with those team aspects of their game. Just going to say, pretty uh, reasonable stats there for Richard Champion. 17 possessions, playing in one of those defensive areas. Bradshaw's handball over the top. Tristan Lynch again, always seems to be prepared to give the ball off. On this occasion, his kick was smothered, gathered by Costa. Costa's had plenty of the football in the last term, didn't have much of it in the first three quarters. And the football is with Collins. Collins gets around and kicks the ball high towards centre-half forward. Robbin provides the marking contest. Connell leaves it for Rusciuto. Just a little bit slow there. Champion away to Ashcroft. In turn, Kennedy shares it with Dick Foss. In turn to Ashcroft. Ashcroft assesses and then kicks it straight to the opposition. Oh, and Malloy was very, very nasty on Costa. Costa stood his ground. The advantage is with Adelaide. The kick towards full forward. Nearly taken by Pittman. Gathered by Vardy. May kick his third goal here, Peter Vardy. Hits the post. Two goals, three against his name. Six goals to Tony Modra. And the leading goal kicker for Brisbane has been Lepic with three. Just take another look at that. And Malloy, you certainly earn your kicks when you play in front of Jared Malloy. He's a ferocious player. Long kick by Lynch. Costa uh, again getting in the action ran. Keating's handball. Lambert McLeod. Lambert back turns. Clever. Then little chip pass to Tristan Lynch, who's been a great link player tonight in a, in a run with player. Goes to Ashcroft. Ashcroft to a full forward. Bond to Nakamanas. Nakamanas has probably had the better of that duel. Uh, ben Hart, good handball to Bond. Bond belts it back to centre wing. Vardy, who's been okay. We want to move it quickly, though. The game is lost. And they're going to be beaten by time in this forward thrust, the Crows. So as Wren held the ball in the first half, Vardy does in the second. The great. Good win to the Lions. They were certainly with a better team on the night. They won every quarter. Every quarter they won. They led by 9, 18, 26. And in the end, they won by 31 points. 17, 16 for 13, 9. They've won 7 out of 8 at home now. It's in a pretty good record. Going to be hard to beat here for the rest of the year. It gets a bit hotter here. It gets a bit harder to win. We saw them make that big run late in the year last year. And it does look as if they can work themselves into a top four position. They've got three hard games away from home, I know. But things are starting to work out well. The pros, far from uh, discouraged, really, because they uh, also have a great run. Michael Boss was good tonight, particularly in the first half. Neil Curley. Well, Michael, that was a, a very strong team effort. Oh, it certainly was. I mean, the beauty about the last six or seven weeks is that everyone's been putting in. There's been no real superstars or anything like that, just everyone's been contributing 21 blokes, you know, and that's that's what it's all about, that's what wins your games. The half-back line tonight of uh, Lapp and White um, was absolutely, and Dick Foss was oh, Dick Foss, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they're pretty solid across there, of course they've got a bit of pace too, which uh, helps. You know, they're running down the field and linking in on, and it's just fantastic to see some run. Earlier on the year we didn't have it, and now, you know, we're working towards it, and obviously, as you can see, you know, the it's starting to work. Jared Malloy, he gives you a good strong target up forward. It certainly does. I feel sorry for the bikes. I'm there sometimes. He just runs straight through them and uh, he's a big lad and it's great to have him back from a wrist injury, that's for sure. Well played, a good win. Yeah, it certainly was, Curse. Thanks very much. Back here, uh, Percy. Thanks, Curse, with uh, Michael Voss. This form tonight, Ten, pretty good. impressive. 35 touches. Yeah. And he's getting back to the form of winning the Brownlow medal last year as we see the lines on screen now just thanking their many thousands of supporters who are here tonight and they're both a lot up here aren't they love their footy it's a big ticket in town this one just like the one is in sydney and boss 35 possessions so seven out of eight at home and seven out of their last eight victories for the year it's been a very big turnaround for the the lions i saw them against carlton on the uh, queen's birthday long again they looked insipid out of uh, 
form out with no confidence at all to turn it around. They've been unsettled though, haven't they? If you go through their season, they've had a lot of injuries. At one stage there, they had 15 players that probably could have been in their best side who are sidelined. Now they're slowly getting those players back into their team. And really, it's going to be a tough assignment to come up here and play against the Brisbane Lions in the latter part of the season. It's, it's going to be a season that uh, you don't really want to be playing all your great footy early and in the middle of it. You want to be coming good right now where they are. Right? They've won five in a row, which is equal, I think, to any other stretch all year. Even if one bloke has turned the season around for Miss Jared Malloy, his effort against Melbourne when he kicked goals up forward, and then again in the following week, I think he has been the catalyst to turn this team around. Well, the thing that that's done, though, Bruce, is the fact that it's freed up Lynch to go to the full-back post as well. And as I mentioned during that last quarter, they've got a magnificent defence now with Lynch taking the full-back spot and then Dick Foss at centre-half back. Bo both of those players almost impassable. 7, 11, 7, 11 and 13 goals kicked against them in the last five matches. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Defensively, back. they've been very good and... As Michael Voss said, they've also got a lot of pace in that defence. And Andrew Buse was just terrific again tonight. He had 19 possessions in that defence. And he would be very happy with his game. And he certainly can be classified as a veteran of the game. And Lappin, of course, across half-back, 30 touches for him too. They had plenty of the ball. Really, one would wonder why they didn't put the Crows away a lot earlier than what they did. Yeah, we said that uh, at quarter time. We said it at half time. We thought it probably at three-quarter time. There was a pattern to the match, though, wasn't there? The players would make a run, and every time they get close, the Lions would respond in the in the way of the manner of a pretty good footy team, and they were able to keep them at bay all night. So we followed them all the way back into their room, and they'll sing their song, I'd imagine, and there's Neil Curley on screen at the moment. Let's stop for a moment. Get in here, right? 